Hello, this is Balamin here. Welcome back to Let's Play Potion Mugs. When we last left off, we defeated Sharkman and now we have to fight Anubis Girl. More less fight and more like actually transfer in the middle of millions for fun and profit. I am really tired right now and it's really late at night, so I'll try and keep it down. This will be a shorter stream, hopefully. I was hoping to keep it to like a boss a uh, day until I beat it soonish. That's probably not gonna happen here. I believe I was just checking out everything. I think I hung up with somebody. And now it's time to, um, I think we wanted to start, I think we wanted to actually sell some potions for some start cash. But, uh, yeah. Rock key costs zero one patience. Cards are short. Yeah, this card we really want to put in. Honestly. Get rid of enthusiasm. And I think for her, there's a card. It's not a bad one. Apparently she gets a really good card at uh, the end of her path, but we're not there yet. Oh yeah. No, she's just a better... Uh, did he get a good card? For my block dies, but yeah, increase patience by three. Um, this would be... Oh, I already have that. Yeah, tricky part. This is a good card, just in case, like... Oh, uh, this one isn't too bad either. I don't think we want it. This isn't a bad card, but I think we want to stick with two and one cost if we can. Which means why I actually get rid of artistry. I mean, what would we replace it with? Not sympathy, I don't think. We already have Captivate, right? Oh, we actually don't. Um. Yeah, if we have the ability to draw more cards, maybe we should put in ca back in Captivate. Yeah, I think it's fine to keep it in our street. I think we are fine with the deck we have. Let's actually run the shop. Mm -hmm. Then another coin. Let's make a deal, be quick about it. Press the attack. Artistry. If we don't end it now, we won't get zeal. And he's gonna apply three stress. Yeah, let's just seal it. Not the best, but better than nothing. Next up, try coming there. All right. Press the attack. Scheme. It's improv. Muscle memory, muscle memory again. Improv again. Actually, I just thought about it. Artistry. Rest out. Oh, I fucked up with that. I meant to play the other card first. I fucked up. Right, let's, uh. I feel like restarting that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. That was just dumb.
Let's kill the rushed. Press, uh, scheme. Press the attack. Improv. Pump up. Artistry. Press the attack. Strategic withdrawal. That uh, improv. And I did not get away when needed. Uh, do that. Dang. Got really unlucky. That's really unlucky. Hmm, an idea is actually coming to mind. What is it? Improv. Pressure. Muscle memory. Craftsmanship. Artistry. Improv. Press the attack. Teach a control. Press the, oh, press the attack. Press the attack. Pump up artistry. Pump up. Oh. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. I should not be doing this when I'm tired. With that being said, that does allow me to remodel that because I have an idea. That does give me an idea. Put that improv in our roots. Green tree prisms we wanna get rid of. Mulligan, now that I think about it. I forgot I even had it, but. Eh, maybe not. again but this time we don't be absolutely garbage at our jobs all right let's try this again uh pressure artistry craftsmanship also memory deal There we go. Fuck money, right? Pressure. Craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Artistry. Muscle memory. Feel. Artistry. Craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Draw zeal here. Let's 
artistry. Let's steal. Really bad luck there. Press the attack. Artistry. Bump up. Deal. Improv. Pressure. Um. Oh, perfect. Well, you don't. That's so we can do. Artist, yeah. Let's just do artistry, craftsmanship, plus memory. Zeal. It's it. Uh, I'll have to pass on that for that one. Scheme. Press the attack. Improv. I'm gonna make sure I crept our card there. Improv again. Damn. You have a. Oh, there's a. Oh. Roll. Alright, oh, I forgot I added those cards back too. Artisan. Craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Pressure. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, bump up. Which one gives more? This one does. Let's attack. Also memory. This memory. Bump up. Deal. I think I'm okay with that, I suppose. Probably check out potions. Oh no. True. And that's taking all day to brew. Oh these all taking all day to brew. Which is fair. Because we only want enough money to get them to go places. I should probably check on my gardening. No. So that's the thing I thought about while I was um just you know doing my thing. All right, I give him one. Right, and he's gonna already create two. I give him another one, and he's gonna create three more. No, well, three. He's gonna make seven. So I give him three. He's gonna create four. I can actually make these. So yeah, give him three. He creates four extra. In three, in three turns. That means I can actually infinitely make resources off him. You can have your snapping turtle back. I might as well infinitely make some shells while I'm at it. resources into that then. Oops. You to make there we are. You get fed. All the good shit. And you get fed some good shit too. Might as well. Wow. 
All right, you guys are fat and happy, so I'll leave you alone. All right, those won't be done until tomorrow. All right, let's see what we got. Let's go to Mint. What can we do for the war? So we have the Arctic. There's the Arctic and what else? The Dragon Oasis. Yeah, Poison and Petrification. And the Arctic was... Oh yeah, that's right! I was talking about I could do this. Let's just have an ice tonic. I need to give her that potion and this potion. She would not have enough health. I need to. I need to give that to Zid. Oh my god, Zid won't have enough either. Uh, Korzak might have to be the one to do this one. Because we need mana too. We, we actually need more potion slots because I didn't pick up any of my good potions. And then two, one. Because, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it needs eight. We need, uh, and yeah, but speed my potion gives six. If I give them another. Well, problem is these alone give like 30. Yeah. Has to be him. Actually, I just noticed that's not going to be enough, is it? Nope. Only a greater. In that case. Congratulations, Corsac, you get the Arctic. Congratulations. Did. You're gonna be sent over to the Dragon Oasis. A single health potion. She does actually get pretty far. Should rank up with you. What you got for me? <gasps> Time to do a civic duty. Good thing you're wearing gloves. I'm gonna frag some bucket liquid that sizzles and roils. Mint leaves Sylvia into the heart of raft. Plus, it's the first stop to see. Well, Sylvia holds a bucket, mint, dips rag in the liquid, and uses it to wipe down the door handle. Nothing can be the caustic saliva of the mustachioed lizard, including nasty little microbes. Is that also include this bucket? Because I think it's starting to smoke. Oops, we better hurry and hit as many spots as we can. Good word, mint, speed the street, sterilizing as many door handles as possible. The Sylvia and Sylvia eats a hole in the bottom bucket, nearly missing Sylvia's boots. They call it a day. <sighs> Still, it's good to do something normal. Well, normal for me. Not for a your weapon has been eventful, but exhausting. 
What's the latest? I keep an ear for rumors. I finally heard a promising one about a masterwork sword hanging in the heart of the forest. I had to get a party together, but Miguel is just super aware of that part of the forest. I'm caught in the endless, eerie fog. I spent hours wandering around in the mist. I was walking in circles at one point, but I didn't give up. I have the best to prove it. Did you ever find it? Yeah, but it was rusted. Different looking stash of blade away for duration, until you shouldn't leave in a damp, mistrusted forest. Yeah, at least I got my steps for today. On the bright side, well, hey, I can mope. I have plenty of other leaves to flow, but to be honest, I'll be my hands on something soon. I don't have vision of myself as a wash up wannabe, but careful, I can't be like the very first hero I ever met. First account of a hero didn't go well, I take it? <laughs> not for him. This was less than a year ago. I started working shifts at the family warehouse. Dad's runs a regional distribution hub, imports experts. What's the cat Wow, kind of like a bit of bigness, isn't it? Oh yeah, cat pirates buy in bulk. One of the stories, they used to sail up and down the coast, setting fires and causing mayhem. I really depend on Alexis' cat and it keeps everyone happy and at peace, which is why it was cause for concern. And a man came to our door and claimed our catnip storage facility has been infested by slimes. I pointed out the telltale tales of goo all in the perimeter of the building, but dad was pretty panicked about it. This guy, he was a licensed hero, he said. Realized troubleshooter, looking for work. My dad's were only too happy to pay and take care of the slimes as for me. Well, you can probably imagine how excited I was. Follow them everywhere, hunting with questions, watch them like a three-eyed ferret. I discovered it was all scam. Only slimes our warehouse the ones he set loose there. Ugh, what creep. That's been so disappointing. Point of fact, I was furious, Sylvia. Really mad. Chase him off or probably with a plus one stapler. I know things stop me to think about. I think it was slimes he left behind. First battle and they were defeated handedly. I thought I felt this surge of confidence. And clarity. I knew I owed it myself to give my childhood dream a shot, so I was looking for opportunities to make a move. And after this guild put up to call recruits, I knew I found the opportunity I was looking for. Unlike that funny hero, you've been doing an incredible job. Thanks, but let's be real, I can always do better. What quest is all about? Getting the power to level up. Again, they say power corrupts. What if I get my hands on a powerful weapon and it changes me? I go all. Dark meant destroy our worlds. Just make sure it doesn't talk to you and you should be fine. I'll keep you in check. Jack Pumps even must struck your door in order to save you. I believe you could do it too, Sylvia. Alright, with you and my corner, I suppose I don't have to worry so much. So you'll keep looking for a weapon. Yeah, I'm no quitter. Sometimes not until your back's against the wall, you see you're really careful of. That's why you break out the bullets. You know what I mean? Raises interest by 14 can only be played if you have three or fewer cards in your hand. No, oh, I do. Good. Keep posting, keep posting quests, and don't worry. I'm sure I have good news soon. Interesting. Probably not for my deck. What? Seems interesting enough. All right, and you're gonna be sent to the Arctic. And you're going to literally fight one enemy and die. I'm okay with this. Get it done. Uno, what you got for me, if anything? I think I, no, I didn't check her out before, I don't think. I mean, there's stamina potions? Eh, I'll return. I'm fine for now. Thank you, though. Oh, I forgot to do the quest. Thank you for the singular silver slime. Oh, I couldn't do it anyway, so... One... There we go. Oh, I forgot to gift them too. It's fine. How about this? Generosity astounds. Thank you. Salt and pepper. Or 
from Valois, Ice Cracks for Valois. Alright, Yeti Pelt. Dragon Blood Tick. And this. Uh, sequined custard? Sequined? No, I think it's sequined. Alright, thank you. Traveling to. Roxanne. Oh, I forgot to give him a gift! Black to salt and pepper. Give them some stuff. Saffron. A powerful present, thank you. Alright, now that we got our starter cash basically sorted, we don't have to actually sell anything anymore. We can just do what we normally do. Truly, you know my heart. Oh, yeah, right. I also need to get cauldrons for me. Oh, yeah, there's also a crater. Do I have enough? I should have enough money. Okay. Upgrades I can do on the spot? No. Oh, come on, I still didn't get the bisite for this yet. Oh, right, because I already upgraded the culture. Right, right. Ah, oh, fuck, I should have talked to Saffron first to get a cauldron. It's fine. Oh, don't worry, big guy, I'll be back. Eat these. you just be safe because I did a little bit looking up apparently you do still have to actually do rank 10 possibly so I'm just gonna take the safe route wait hey Oswald you're supposed to be back where the fuck did you go Got new um cauldrons that we should follow. Now we can go customize. But before we do that, the thing with different things we just got. Uh, we have literally three, four shadow step floors. We also have the ice crack floor. Um, that looks like boring tile. We're gonna ignore that. We also have ocean cold wall. Well, if I really felt like it, I guess I could make my entire house look like a bathroom. 
my god, I could literally just make it look like a literal bathroom. Yeah, go ahead and just take a dump on the floor. Yeah, how about we don't and say we never did? Much better. Dang it, I clicked on the potions. Well, I, mean, I do have to be down here anyways. Uh, because we're gonna place the, uh, let's place the, probably the storm cauldron. Cauldron, Arctic Cauldron, and back down below. And we want to put C. Gardening. I fucked up there, I didn't do that. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's so many Magimans. Oh, God, yes. Oh my god, I can make so many cheap-ass potions from that! Oh god, yes! And this one's 55, 50 tied to it. Yeah. God, yes, we're totally feeding this to you. Um, I would kind of like this too also, so I'm gonna do that. We still do have to mass produce our bees, but I think we're focusing a little bit less on that now. Six Intention from before was we wanted to feed Yeah, let's give these these. I don't really particularly like those.
Let's see what we can make. You can have 11 ingredients. This one's going to be used for. Alright, Dragon Cauldron, you are permanently on potion duty. You have 10 ingredients, but also 6 or more. can actually fit all 10 ingredients. Yeah, this is probably what we'll probably end up making our good potions in. It's a crater cauldron. Crater tolerance potion, insight enhancer, and sound keeper. Uh, I realize a small issue. You're actually out of resources. Something I'm not used to having. In case we will have to improvise. So I'd like to not have it take two years. What up, mind? No, that's fine. You also have yeti pots. That's fine. And my guys shouldn't be back in Yeah, they aren't. Oh, Baptiste should have her thing, so let's get going. This is success. Here are the, here are the spoils. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We can rank up. First off, I'm gonna do two of these because I actually need two of those. So, mind, and I'll rank, rank you up. Can you sense in the air? Grand things are afoot. Like that goes right there. Tomorrow's beginning a bold new air for the Heroes Guild. Alright, I'll bite. What's up? Mm, ice cream first, I think. Then business. Ice cream has new flavors since Sylvia was last here. Like, she's here every single time. The cat people come in here and they didn't have any seafood flavors, but when I came with the walrus, they had buttered prawn. And then when I came here with Quinn, they had a uh, tentacle surprise. Can this, like, why does this never have the flavors that people want? 
Well, she'll get stuck between Dazzler Honeycomb or Brambleberry, but do simply ask for a scoop of the date special. I always ordered the newest flavor. In fact, I've become something of a guinea pig for the ice cream maker. So I was only time to order the Stingray Surprise. That's uh, brave of you. More brave than you realize. My mother disowned me, as she knew. This heir is the world's largest vanilla dynasty. My family, chocolate is forbidden. Strawberry is sacrilege. Limit. I have a flavor as a winner, but I've had enough villa for a lifetime. Don't buy ice cream. I'll leave you with the promise of news. See if I found a solution to my dilemma. We need to alleviate some of the financial stress burdening my heroes. Or have you figured it out already? Are you cutting costs around Guildhall? In Guildhall, a tarot of our budget, we have the money for our uses. You know, I like the Accord of Light. In fact, I like it so much. That's the first thing that I tried upon my arrival. And yeah, the safe hat has long since been trimmed. Otherwise, you wouldn't call it, catch me dusting quite so often. Alright, then, what is your idea? I'll tell you, it's education, Sylvia. Going to my own, should be given a series of lectures aimed at demystifying venture capitalism. Therefore, empowering my people to grow the capital through this application of first class investment strategies. I know it's mouthful, don't worry. I'll be peppering Simar with bald jokes just to keep him interested. It's a sweet idea. Uh oh, your words are flaring, but your tone is not. My investing money is that you have to have money to invest. You never make the rich richer, but those struggling just to get by. Oh, oh, oh I, I see. I'll invest in tips and world and help you if you don't have two coins to rub together. Oh, shame. I'll so look forward to leading a seminar. The mic explains why shine up sheet remains empty. I'll be ever hearing your ribald jokes. I haven't written any yet. Locker room talk isn't my strength. But I did have time to have a new coupon for you. I trust the effort, at least, was not wasted. I should have checked when he... Damn it. I'll live with my mistakes. Well, that definitely alleviates my financial burdens. Let's notice I have some good ideas. It's been the power to fix the guild's problems, Sylvia. I'm sure of that. I'm baffled on the how of it. I really have some thinking to do, but I forget out one thing. You are a wonderful sounding board. And don't take that for granted. Not for a moment, and not one bit. Alright, here, have your daily most of mana. Salt and pepper? Have your daily most of mana. saw in, a, in a, someone's comments that they think that this, the music is met, even the cat one, and I, uh, I'm glad I never have to talk to them ever, because they obviously will never be my friend. Happy to take off your hands. Don't die out there. I'll try not to. Always have time for you. Well, I have a gift for you. It's called mana. And I'll be back to talk to you at some point in your life. I, I hope. Maybe. I'm gonna have like Saffron here. I'm just gonna literally have nothing. <laughs> My entire day is just gonna be talking to Saffron. Here you go. And up to Tusk Lord. Departure, the fire dims. Alright. 
I have a few things for you. I changed my name and have nothing for you. Take these two ingredients. Get out of my face. I have to go back home. Right now. Right the fuck now. Nothing else matters. You hear me? Nothing else matters. You don't matter, Quinn. Get out of here. Gives us to me. And I definitely don't make as much money off the vending machines. Well, I mean, I still have a lot of potions in there, too, but... It's fine. They'll sell eventually, especially if I'm gone literally all day. fine because <laughs> yes. yes eat it eat it all in your mouth hole every single bit of it in your mouth hole I need as many as those as you can physically make me I don't care if you literally explode you give me the 10 shells I'm about to give you. Alright, but that will be enough for now. More. Or shove more into your mouth. This, this is how commerce is made. I still don't really have enough to make anything. That's kind of the problem I'm running into. Uh, oh yeah, I'm in Thunder Tonic. I guess we'll have to do this for now. Just use the ticks that we were already had. Unfortunately, no. There's a chance it becomes a master work, but not very high. So if you might as well cover. Yeah, I do. Which health they give you 80? One potion. I do 
actually need ice tonics, so maybe I'll heal you. That will do nicely. What was the other one? Uh, petrification? Red. So most of my stuff is even done. And unfortunate. <sighs> but it's fine because we're gonna be having a bunch of knowledge shells to shove in the mouse anyways, so it's fine. Do is wait. Oh, hey, uh, Sin's back, and so is Corsac. Probably not, but let's see what you got. Oh, hey! Look at this little guy. Going. Quick favor and die horribly. Thank you. All right, I understand you're just an itty bitty spider, but you're invading my home. Honestly, you did a really good job. Let's see what else I can send you on. There's also a crater there. Oh yeah, that's the shadow in the yard. Thing. And that requires this care, which I do not have. Instead, we're gonna send you back to Dragon Oasis. Because you have a masterwork poison cure. And enough health potions to ki to literally help have you kill God. 50, 60, 70, 80. <laughs> yeah. Back, Corsac. A 
sense more than I was expecting, to be honest. Alright, you go into Dragon Oasis. You can only do four. Mint's not back. Give me a large treasure chest. Some people say the song isn't as good as I make it out to be. It's okay. It's okay to be wrong. What do you got for marketing? Useless. Hey Gwen, have I given you your daily mana? I have not. Well, here's your daily mana. Also, eat these. Let's see what we got. Shadows is cheaper than that. What are these Chimera ways? However, we're gonna have to stick with the bare minimums here. Right, let's go ahead and buy these. These are And we're gonna buy the Dragon Blood Ticks. And let's talk to. She's a. I taste. Did you know, have another rank up for Mary Chance or no? Nah? Fine. I know salt and pepper had a rank up, but I'm not sure if they have any it's good. Because they have like cards that are like dual purpose. Is it good day? Hey Sylvia, you recognize this potion? The way salt pause, pepper holds up a glaring potion. Color and clay is perp. Good looking potion, is it one of mine? There is, we You've cured it off one of your customers. I'm flattered. What? I could have made one for you. You're saying it's not irreplaceable with nothing? Good to know. Pepper, dump it out, please. Pepper uncorks the ball and dumps the contents to the sea. Yeah, what gives? You need a fancy container for your ceremony. Something you had a connection to. You could have just asked me for a spare bottle. And one last test for your commitment. Honestly, you gotta be ready for this shocking twist. 
Running with us means weathering some storms sometimes, so clear your loins before any you can kick at them. Stalwart or to creep and then the hatches. Oh, they're tied up. Right, I should have seen that coming. Come on, you're done crying over spilt milk because I'm big in mind for today. Spilt milk makes me cry. I rang us a while now, and this one thing's clear. Definitely blood bottle material. Now one paw of the times you back down from danger. Only one thing you value more than fierceness. Family. That's right. It doesn't mean the kings are birthlier either. Yeah, it's part you get to make your own family. How good is that? What do you say? Are you ready to become a blood brother? Yes. Yes, let's do it. That's the right attitude. And hey, bonus. Your verbal confirmation absolves us liability. What? It'll be fine, just exactly as we tell you. Those kids are strange with Julia. Fold is which is largely lost in Sylvia. First, she's told to bathe, which also involves licking her hands. Look, not brimstone and leather fibers. Brimstone and leather fibers on my tongue. You're supposed to take your gloves off first. Also, Mitchell sniffing, and the pirates break into a lively sea shanty. This little kitten's lost their mittens. On the raging sea. It goes on for a while. Alright, time for the grand finale. Only have you urinate in the sand over there. But you seem like that DP shy. Make you all day. So drop a loogie instead. Well, it's the same thing. Marking your territory. Like graffiti. Silver is here. You shouldn't go. This isn't too bad. Nah, there's no initiation. We're just hanging out. This is once or same one thing we gotta do. Pepper? Sylvia. Lucky present to the ball of sand from this beach. As you know, every pirate carries sand from birthplace. In your case, this beach is side of your rebirth as a pirate. Now, wherever you go, or you do, you have a piece of rafter with you. You part, mine's is, mind you of us too. Plus, in a pinch, it kind of works as a portable little barks. Thanks, guys. I'll cherish this. So, really, if there's no actual blood involved. I get that. Somebody here faints at the very sight of blood. That's somebody's salt. I'm a cat bro now. They've accepted me into the litter. This is now the greatest game of all time. Also, Mint's back. Not bad, not great. I wanted to aim for great. It's fine. I wasn't expecting you to succeed anyways. Speaking of which... You're going to the Dragon Oasis. I forgot to save the money for it. Alright, you, um... You get to take a break. Um, get to, um... I don't know, fucking... Uh, child capping the alcohol bottles. Have fun. I forgot to save money for... We will now... Gardening, since that's kind of actually the most important thing right now. Alrighty, yeah. Alright. All of you have a new task. And I do mean all of you. Enough resources in general. But all of you have a brand new speaking task. It is these. All of you. Queen Gelatin. Sapphire! Sorry. Sorry, my friend, but the slimes are hungry. Is this or Dragon? That's a 3311. Uh, this is a 66. Beasts. 44 to 44. 2266. And we can use that for people. So in fact, we're probably gonna. Use 
We need more Nautilus shells. You understand the words coming out of my mouth. More Nautilus shells. Correct. More Nautilus shells. I don't think you quite understand what I was trying to tell you. Item that actually made too many of them. That's fine for me. I'm okay with just keeping it at that. The point toy fish is actually a lot of. There you go. Okay. 50 of them should be enough. Should is a very optimal word. This one you only need to be six, so that's fine. Probably the last thing, right? No, where are not those shells? There you are. Saffron? I do need fuel from you, but not right now. We need... I don't want to rank up. What is the cheapest cauldron? I can't get the cheapest cauldron. So instead, we're just going to buy a ton of fuel from you.
Alright, I'm hoping we're basically done with you for the rest of the fucking game, but you know how this game goes. Uh, did I gift you yet? I did. Uh, salt and pepper, did I gift you guys yet? Give to Mint while she's still here. And before I send you on an adventure, let's rank up. Let's get out of that rowdy guild hall. This one in the neighborhood. It's an exhibit on local history I'm dying to see. I feel a quick museum visit. I'm up for it. It's gonna be better than work, but it's just a million low bar. I'm impressed by exhibit. Art does fascinating place after all. The museum is sparsely attended, which gives Sylvia a clear view of the displays. There are old maps, outdated rooms, and a small fire helm once worn by Robin himself. While Sylvia examines antique push mic equipment, Mint ponders a pile of dust and metal shards. No legendary weapons here. Everything the heroes took in a battle with Maven was destroyed. There's one artifact on battle I never got tired of looking at. Not far from here. Ooh, is this a new location? This is more like it. The great doors and a big macho corpse. What could be better? Kraken Skull's cornerstone of this island's history. I assume you know the story. Right forward and backward, no need to recap it. Oh, but I never get tired of talking about it. I mean, even the Wish Queen nearly fled this whole place so the monsters summoned them in the deep. How's that story ever get old? And of course, I'm now living inside the very ship that Kraken knocked around ten years ago. I mean, wouldn't have believed it. Wait, really? That's why the guild hall looks like a ship? Yeah, silly. I guess you didn't know her story as well as you thought. The guild started off as a ship that brought Maven's vanquishers to Rafta. I'm sure my cause up right where Lord Master Lauren used to store his books. I feel so honored by that, so inspired, and, well, sometimes like an imposter, like a kid who's playing dress up. Be kinder to yourself. I know I should. That's why we're here. I just need to connect to this place. I need to feel the history, my place in it. I close our eyes and breathe in dill deep. Mint closes her eyes and breathes in the salty air. Sylvia follows her example. Mint passes in comfortable silence. Finally, Sylvia feels Mint poker in her ribs. Sylvia opens her eyes and glares, but she can't keep the smile from her face. Feeling better already? Feeling inspired. Glad we came here. Glad you left the skull right where it fell. There's a piece of her history. A reminder why we need heroes. Heroes like you. I'm not there yet, but I won't give up my goals. I'm keeping my eye on the prize. I still right. Can okay. I feel inspired to do the same. Let's get back to our respective quests. After all, you and I both have great feats to accomplish. Speaking of which... Uh, I'm not such a deep... Arctic action. Oh, right, right. This won't work. He has only greater science cure. I do you have a petrification cure, though? Can I possibly take it? All the the way. Sixty two. Fuck. That's uh sixty two. Fifty. I can get her to the boss. Bark here. Good choice. I'm out. It feels like a waste of resources to degree, but it's fine. I'll live with myself. Alright, 
I think I gave gifts. One thing I haven't done is visit Quet. And oh yeah, I didn't give her wings gelatins yet. Apparently, work your magic. Fuck, I actually, no. Um, sorry, Quinn. Uh, there's a better method to my madness. It involves meowing. Oh no, I already did that. I thought I did. Right, that's how I got all the other ingredients. Never mind. Sorry about that, Quinn. Buy cheap stuff today, just for the sake of trading resources. I don't think there's anything I absolutely have to have off the top of my head. We'll so just buy all the cheap stuff. Mods of mana because it's just a good booster. Yeah, I feel like buying this. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, wings slot? Yeah. Let's head back home. Where is the owl? Where's he been? Also, where's my competition trying to tell me that I'm a piece of shit? Sending everyone to Dragon Oasis too. Actually, I, I know. Well, yeah, that's right. I fucked up with the timing, and they all probably have to brew for one more turn, anyways. Which is fine. Uh, what does my potions look like on this? Yeah, I'm almost out, though. That's kind of the issue. Well, let's get rid of the petrification potion. We really don't need it. Um, we could also take these off for now. So we're not trying to sell potions like directly. And we need the poison cure. Gardening. Yes. Yes. More. 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 Most excellent. That's really something, uh, yeah, it's 44 to 44. Which is still more, but not by much, is it? I mean, it still is more. So there's no complaints there, but I just feel like... Uh, I didn't pick up any more. I th yeah, it's 40 40. So. Being said, more. And go ahead and pop the normal mana in for you.
Come. And you can be fed to yellow. Use Hermitite to make his potions, but I'd rather just use it for this. I shouldn't have done that, but I just felt like doing it. I don't know why. It's because I really, really hated it. Because I just really wanted it out of my face. Potentially building that brew. We're fine for you. And the cycle begins anew. Head out and see what happens. We should probably sold all our potions by then. So, what do we need for? Okay, for him we need a superior and wait. Just stay there? No. I do need an insight enhancer. 
that I need. I already have a superior mana potion and a second hand. I'll need these petrification potions, so we'll keep them around. These two are back. Sucked up a teeth first. What's the success here are the spoils. Uh, would I have that? I think we just got dragon pyramids. What shelf we have? No. I'm pretty sure we just picked them up. So I think we have everything he has already. Or a brag, but it went well out there. Good. Take a break, I might need you around. Take care. I think I'd be happy with the spoils. Alright, take a break. Biggest, fat, baddest treasure you could possibly get. Alright. Time for the daily mass gifting of everyone. Apparently, it's even like higher mana modes than uh, what I've been getting here. Oh my god, we can. Blood Brothers. Not yet. But Blood Brothers. Soon, my brothers. Me. You really like me. How about you say that to all the girls? You will love me, Baptiste. I wonder you're so dear to my heart. And well, you know, you love me. You know? He still love you, so here's a gift. I mean, when you've got potion, basic potions. Um, I need you to make another cauldron. Tuck here. I'm back, Tuck. And last but not least, Quinn. I 
No, also, yeah, we just got dragon fruit moons. And I haven't given you an knowledge shell yet, but I'm going to now. Eat them. Eat them. Devour them. Make them yours. In this case, let's go and see what we got. Anything for cheap? No. And you don't have any knot shells, so I don't want that. Oh, what do I need for sight? Red, green, blue. I, I know I just saw red, green, blue. What was it? Red, green, blue. Cosmic quartz. A few bells. I also need a superior's. So I already got the mana potion. I need a superior sight time. Green, red, yellow. Red. Yeah, oh, you have silver. You have these silver dobs, but I don't want them. That's what I said, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the first one you get. You'll get both. Just green, red, yellow. Like, just base. Except for these eels. Bye. This will buy some of these. Mm. Hopefully, that's all we need. Get trouble and then go back. Base. Let's go ahead and actually take the time here to make these potions. Just because I want to be able to see if I can deal with these. Alright, let's do an enhancer. Alright. There's a greater. I need a superior help. You have to be grand and superior. Would give me what I need though. I need to get back to opposite to take up for it. Yeah, that's overkill. I have anything that's like that but in particular and I need that poison quartz. complete quest so let's not try to waste too many resources on this let's just finish it up and we'll we want to spend an entire day on this yes
Now, next up is the... How do you learn this answer? I need the insight. Right, I messed up. I need insight. Ready. I mean... I mean... Oh, that's fine. Alright. As for you, take a fucking guess what you're gonna be doing. One scaly woods. Let's use them, shall we? It's very stable, so I'll have less po potency, but it will make more, so we're fine with that. I need to go to the bathroom and check on some laundry.
All right, and we are back. Uh, it's, it's gonna be a very eventful next few days because um, just travel and do this stuff. I think I just made health potions, right? And it make anything to like. I didn't make anything to like help get to. I mean, you can still get through the crater, but the thing where it's like the crater's. Yeah. I made petrification potions just for this. In that case, I only have one of these. Fucked up. Uh, I wasted a time slot because now I'm gonna have to go back. I forgot to sell my potions. It was gonna be a really awkward one, anyway, so I suppose it's not the worst in the world, but still. Sort through this and see what we really need to get rid of. These, but it's for them. That. The Thunderstone. Lunch crickets? Yeah, we'll get rid of it. Because this might actually be pretty good. Uh, lobster. That's enough for now.
That's really unfortunate that we're like one away from doing that. Oh well. Alright, let's go and talk to people. It did, feel, it did waste a time slot. I'm praying it's fine. Alright, let's talk to Salt and Pepper first, I think. Alright, let's rank up. Let's have some fun. Come on, Blood Brother, let's get out of here. Where to? The party at the Heroes Guild. I want to see the place. Building this guild? Guild is one fine sea vessel. It does attack after a cracking battle tells you sailors knew what they're doing. They really showed that old witch a thing or two. You remember what day Mabel was defeated? Remember? Jeez, how old do you think I am? Great muscles tell a story of time when the particular island was totally off limits. Or else she was up to. I ain't known to judge. Even the riches of place to herself? It gets my hackles up. Her death was good for reasons. No disputing. No. I never found a body or nothing. Makes you wonder. Anyways, about this party, if you can believe it, Pepper and I weren't exactly invited. We heard, you know, some of those heroes. You guess in? Alright, go. Now, that's like. Let me tell you, maybe we'll show right in. That's one idea. I forget you could just, you know, open a window. Yeah, look at you, we'll do the rest. Yeah, the party's alright. I mean, fire, but it's early still. Get your trophies. We could do something like that. I have too many. Ship, we'd have too many. A ship would sink under the weights of many triumphs. Bone pepper and sheer injection of energy in the party. The crowd gets louder and more animated by the vicinity. Next round of the captain. Huzzah. What this comes up with the idea of mixing so much liquor with so much dairy? The pipe chugs, she sips. Sylvia, you are wonderful. I'm so glad you are your brother, brother. Oh, brother. Oh boy, someone's gotten to the cat. Sylvia, where to go? I can use some help getting the captain back. Also, I mean, dirty like since the signal it came down. My fault it wasn't bolted in better. I could talk to Aptiz, try to smooth things over. Eh, hey, bother. What's he gonna do? Here, I can give you this coupon anyways. Let's pass along if you want to mollify him. I'm gonna keep it for myself. Now oh, you're talking like a parrot. Oh, right, right. Uh, I have mints back. We have some dragons, Sylvia. Actual dragons. Nice. Ooh, you got some good shit. Ooh, a basket of cornea? Here, let me give you something for your troubles. talk to her, but let's talk to Baptiste first. Oh, no, no, let's, uh, okay. we already have all this right now. Always have time for you. Took a mood to be confined indoors today. I'll play a key for a bit. 
I like the idea in theory. What if I'm needed here? You bought some bar snacks. Lock up the liquor and leave a first aid kit with mint. That will be fine. You do have a knack for anticipating needs for others, don't you? I hope you deploy a level of emotional intelligence and you're haggling. Raise its interest by 8. If customer has an active debuff, raise interest by 25 instead. Interesting. Thanks for the tip and a compliment. Actually, I'll take some bar sex for the road too. It's amusing. When I was a kid, my parents had to bribe me to go outside. I want to leave the house. Well, I think I'd go mad if I didn't get out in the open air at least once a day. I guess people change. But I had an ulterior motive coming to this spot in particular. I want to properly look at that big, glorious skull. You see it there. It's hard to miss. The Kraken Skull casts a sinister, sh sinister shadow over the beach. It sits in the shallows within easy reach. Beaches will all give it a wide berth. You know the story, I assume. Our group of heroes came here to dispose Maven. We first had to get past our guardian Kraken. The skull is all that remains of the creature. What do you think of it? Important piece of history. Anything that really connects the place has passed. Right you are. Foundational myths are important to any community. So I remember the sacrifices made by generations past. Twenty years ago, Ben Adventure set on a quest to vanquish a fiendish queen witch. I killed you, but you know. Okay, dead now. Come back. Blood is now all over my walls. Spiders. They knew it was insanely dangerous. Still, they left their homes and their loved ones behind. Most of their weapons and their sails. They answered the call. Why, though? Money? Fame? Because it's the right thing to do. The answer is... All those reasons are correct. Actions are courageous. Their intentions are noble, but they're professionals. And professionals expect compensation in return for their expertise. Yeah, we have a saying in my circles. A potion maker can't pull nutrients from the glass of swallowed flasks. It... This is something in translation from the original Draconic. The point is, everyone's got to eat. In a world that means making money. This is I personally never had. But I taste some a small flat stone you picked up somewhere along the beach. One spec sends it skipping across the water. That was a good distance. They make it all the way across the bay to the skull itself. Wow, good at that. Thanks. Living a carefree childhood, I had ample time to develop useless skills. Really not dawning me how all my little privileges add up to larger differences. If I had concerns about where my money was coming from, that left me ill-equipped to understand the needs of those in my employ. Seems obvious enough now. If one here has joined my guild and stay in my guild, then you could compensate them for their vital labor. It's easier said than done. Where should all the money should come from? I'm done you have some thinking to do and some math. Oh, all ahead of me. Our sparring dummies need to be stitched up, arrows and potions need to be restocked, and the dust bunnies look to be planning a revolt. It's hard to wrap one's head around systemic change. The chores never seem to let up. But this is a job. It's my job. If there's a problem, it falls to me to solve it. To solve it, I shall. I best enjoy these last few moments of the sea breeze. When I get back to Guild Hall, I have more work cut out for me. The t shirt on his plate. Can't solve all his problems for him, but at least I can provide some potions. I can literally do that right now. I could literally just go home and do that right now. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, one thing I want to check out actually is Saffron. Um, oh, right, right, you already did carpentry, right. In that case, let's go to. I guess we'll go to. Yeah, we'll go to you. I think it's yeah. For you? Of course. I'm glad to see you today, even more than usual. It's those warm welcomes that keep me coming back. Well, I hope you still feel that way after I ask you a favor. Tell me something. Have you your finger stretches today? I've got 85 birthday cards to sign. I'll bet you can forge my signature pretty convincingly. Not just a squiggly line. 
RuPaul's on a stack of 85 birthday cards. Each our image of the base infamous statue of Ma Maven. I bet this will burn your siblings, eh? Makes him shriek. Chose this particular image for a reason. Bring up the patient to use Maven as her own personal piggy man. Luna, better clean your room, finish there, access his. Maven will come down and take you away to our island. Probably blows her mind that I moved to the very island of my own free will. Luna begins gracing each card with slapdash, but impressive consistent signature. Then one commits to the memory and then pitches in. Appreciate help. We're all from the same clutch, so birthdays can be a lot. I mean your birthday's coming up? Not for a couple months, but the mail of the mailing is so super slow, I don't want to be late. I should just work it on my birthday. Maybe I could do something fun this year. I think nice having a friend in town. Makes me happy. It's like having someone around to help me forget about work for a little while. Wait, really? I thought you liked thinking about work. I mean, generally, but when a client want to talk to you about it in a vague and mysterious fashion? It's kind of a lot. Are you gonna be okay? I can hear them in my head. The numbers, they do not stop. Are you okay? I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, who is it? Promise not tell anyone. Technically, I'm still by an NDA. I can't name any names. There's some loopholes in agreement. I know you're trustworthy. I'll tell you this much. Client's a celebrity on the mainland. She's royalty. Zed. Royalty publicist? If they ever, I mean, if you think about it, their authority sort of lies on selling people a certain image. Noble bloodlines, grace, taste, and wisdom. A self-evident right to rule. Royals are consistently selling a narrative. For it gets out certain spoiled princesses ill-suited to choose breakfast, much less the course of a kingdom. Well, that's when subjects are asking a couple of questions about the lines section. I might even go a little coop coop. Cuckoo. You know what I mean. That's like a part of work. Basically a kingmaker. Oh, I don't know. Mostly I'm drafting social media posts about what she's eating for breakfast. I'll make it this trial period. It'll pay well. That's something. You can tough it out. What do you do, remember? That's right! You know me, I can handle the stress. The benefits of the situation potentially outweigh any negatives. Me, I like baffling and ampling worthy voices and ideas. I love giving a little guy a performance platform. But the little guy doesn't tend to have our best marketing budget. We're gonna watch your client can be a hassle. Take any money lets me offer affordable services to small, small clients. I can juggle the demands of my time, I can make everybody happy. That includes my parents. I know I'm not supposed to care what they think. I can't help but caring a little. I'm not thrilled by the news, Sylvia. Like Stacy over the moon. I still don't get what a marketer publicist does, but work of a princess? Wrap their heads around that super quick. I see what you mean, and I'm happy your parents are happy for you. Thanks. And just prove all that helpful little guy stuff is more than just talk? I have a whole new coupon for you. It's the cost of marketing by 40%. Careful who you spoil me. Don't even joke about it. One diva on my client list is more than enough. If I'm concerned, you're the one who deserves real treatment. You're awesome, Sylvia. And that's a message I'm happy to promote totally free of charge. Everyone loves you, Luna, but you're fucking useless. To me. In particular, my strategy does not match up with yours. I do not need marketing. I just need more potions. Also, I just remembered I could have made more potions. I'll live. Alright, let's go to Quinn. Alright, yeah, she did a really good job, Dragon's here. Basculus corneas. Yeah, really good job. Okay, I need to buy some things. I need more of you. Back in time. Back in time. 
Let's buy some really cheap stuff. Literally just as filler. That's all we care about for this. It's just to fill. Um, I don't think those. What we need four fours. Yeah, three for all bulbs. Um, I want the rot fire larva. Yeah. Neural Pyro Noki. Uh, we could buy one just for the numbers of it. Like just, just sheer power. I mean, what is what is it gonna do with all that power? The clock stick. Okay, no, no, no. I do these. Essence. Yeah, we'll buy it, just for sake of having stuff to feed to our pet. Mode of mana. Oh, let's go to stuff that really matters. There's rotten melons. that has more numbers. Like just more overall number. I'm basically buying treats from my slimes. Again. Please tell me it old. I, I swear to God, if I forgot to put this out. Oh, hey, welcome back. I've learned a trouble being in the news. Seems Nubia has a unique magical challenge. She can create duplicates of herself. They're a little bit, they're a little bit in drones. They completely lack her winning personality. But apparently signed up to deliver potions all over town. I didn't even challenge to throw and every single one I saw represented a sale you didn't make. I don't know if we start with our customers a sign goal of same day delivery. I think one thing to do, Oswald. You must become a delivery boy. I take offense at every word in that sentence. Would you do it for a raise? No, you never paid me. Got the coin. You know that, right? I wonder if that attitude. What does that mean? I forgot to sell my potions again. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get it done with this game. do find those more delicious succulent resources later but for right now let's uh what happens? okay we should probably see what happens when we uh let's save and what happens if we start turning in Oh, I actually have to pick up devotions first. Good job. Oh, 
Oh, we already need it. We need the super superior insight tonic. Oh no, we need a grand one, but or a superior one. In that case, let's go ahead and set up our. Oh yeah, we have a masterwork. Start turning things in. Um, genius. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. We got three people set up for level 10. Before we do anything else. Okay, first off, what's our cheaper? Okay, that's our, we have seven of them. I don't think I need to send out any more adventures. I think I'm fine for now. So, we keep the alertness dancers. Blessed. I don't know what we need at this point, so... <sighs> but we already know what we're gonna do brewing-wise, so let's just get this over with. I have a question, what do you... What are you gonna brew? What do you fucking think? since we only need this done within the like, yeah. We're gonna be gone all day. We're probably gonna be gone all day. So it's probably not worth Yeah, we're probably gonna be gone all day, so it's not gonna be worth the time.
we're good. We still have a flower bulb, right? Yeah, we still have a flower bulb and I'm pretty sure we got it. We really go to your place. Yeah, the fun guy. Ah, that's really unfortunate. We are literally one point off of that. That's just really unfortunate. We do have another culture. I knew we did. In that case. Go ahead and switch out, I think, the basement, right? Potions. More health potions. out for all day all right nope we gotta do gardening um I really don't think I really need another wave of those so we're just gonna go ahead and feed you Dragonfire Pearl. Did you take that to you? That should be enough for now. I'll be going all day, so these will all be done. What we're doing by the time I get back.
Okay, I don't plan on sending out any adventures anymore, so we'll put all those away. Probably don't need that many superior isotonics, but yeah, we might need them. Petrification potions, not so much. Travel. <sighs> All right, let's go to Peptis first. Thank you. 
Have I been muted this entire time? Uh, beautiful. It covers a range of abilities. I think my deal is more accurately telemetry. Realize the association between an item and a place or person. It's not entirely random then. Right. I eat squid vine. I, I see the more person who harvested it. So while she stuff down with potions, I see you. And now I got my hands on some grapes. Same variety my parents grow. So if you eat them, then you will get a glimpse of your parents. It's a theory. Anyways, and there's only one way to test it. So we're gonna do it right now. I mean, as well. You wanna stick around? Sure, of course. Cool. Here it goes. Let's see. I see them. It's working. I. Wow. What do you see? You're my mother. Her hair is shorter, but it's definitely her. She's having a cocktail. My father's grooming the ferret. Just. in our lives. As if nothing were wrong. Their only child hasn't run the heck away from them. I'm sorry, Quinn. That really stinks. You must have hoped. What can I do? Are you okay? Say something. Meh. To be honest, I expected this. You must be disappointed, though. Yeah, yeah, of course I am. This is who they are, Sylvia. Who they've always been. Not me who needs to change. I have days where I forget that. Bad days where I get caught up in wishful thinking. Bad days aren't so bad lately. Got you now. And you're plenty. Too much sometimes. <laughs> Don't ever change, Quinn. I mean it. Don't plan on it. But it's kind of hard being out of my comfort zone sometimes. I didn't push you away. I mean, I tried. You're stupid, stubborn, Sylvia. I feel like make a good team. I also have a feeling... It would be really, truly excellent at hugging. You've gone too far, Sylvia. Quickly me my think my don't push away stance. Sorry, Quinn. It's happening. Oh, what the hell. Aw. Oh. Take it or leave it. Raise interest in the next level. Effects the door's customer shield. Close sale. Cute. I'm kind of sad that I missed all that stuff. So... It does kind of change the ending of the relationship path. That's kind of interesting. That's cursed as shit. No, you don't get to know what I'm looking at. No one should know what I'm looking at. Um, absolute worst case scenario, I can just literally run it down mid with Saffron. Because I'm pretty sure I have, like, four level-ups with her. Alright, there's Luna. She should be one away. Not anymore. Oh uh, yeah, let's do Luna. Thanks for joining me. I've got to pick up some new office furniture. As harmless as it sounds, it can be a fraught experience. Why? Are you a big spender? Not exactly. Just come with me to the lamp vendor, okay? You're not going to run your head into a lap constantly, are you? I might have been banned from the site for a few times. <laughs> Just come with me. Just don't ask questions. Yeah. As I sit beside the lamp, so I saw Luna tenses up. People's grow large, her wing. Oh my god, that's fucking precious. She walks towards the nearest lamp, then she walks right into the lamp, bumping against it repeatedly. Luna, Luna, snap out of it. Uh, oh no, I did it again, didn't I? Maybe we'll just skip the lamps for now. What's the next thing on the list? Bugs. But we barely see kill the wool ones. Uh, last time I uh, might have eaten three hundred dollars worth of stuff before I even bought it. But no snack. Ah, uh, moths. 
Well, that wasn't quite the relaxing outing I had in mind. More of sorts than was at the start. Eyeballs don't fall randomly on sockets, right? Aren't they pretty good? The teeth are cutting so hard and that face feels loose. Nerves? Stress? Yes and yes, also lack of sleep. I think nature's pensia, but it has its limits. I may have found them, Sylvia. Don't be putting so much time contemplating about you about my big client. To my best friend, Sylvia. You know best sounding board it. Your best sounding board I have when I'm feeling depressed to vent. Desperate to vent. Oh yeah, that's what I'm here for. You're too good for me, Sylvia. You probably noticed I've been burning the candle at both ends. So I'm feeling out of danger of burning out completely. Well, I heard not the amount of work she was asking for it wasn't sustainable. I was afraid she'd be disappointed. I thought maybe you'd lose her business. So she came back with an offer. An offer? She wants to buy the whole business, Sylvia. She wants me a little boutique to become her full time publicity team. Sorry, a team. She wants to expand. Her offer came with a very generous number attached. Congratulations. That's actually your entrepreneur's dream, right? Maybe. To be honest, I'm not really sure what I want. I didn't begin to make such a big decision. Do you find your plans? I. Offer getting closer to goals? Sylvia, that's brilliant. I'm not a plan for this specifically. There's a plan. I need to consider new opportunities in that context. It's a lot to consider. I'm ready to see controls of scale. I'm ready to cut my other clients loose and focus on a single opening project. I don't know the answers. Honestly, my head throbs when I try to think about it. I just feel like eyes feel like they're bulging out. You need some sleep. A big decision like this, you need to come at it with a clear head. Sleep. You said it. That's all I can think about. Your massive subliminal message suggestions, Sylvia. Use those skills in your daily negotiations. Oh, that's a pretty good one for time. This is the sound of my voice. Give me all your money. <laughs> I'm not totally under your control. No, I did pay you a certain amount of money for a supercharged cup of coffee. I pay you a certain amount of money for a supercharged cup of coffee right now. Poorly enough, more coffee is the last thing she needs. Maybe I can bring up something even better. Another mana potion and a... I knew I needed that stamina potion. I fucking knew I needed it. Uh, talk to you later, Lena. I, uh, see if I can, uh, get friendship with salt and pepper. Gift. Pepper's impressed, I can tell. Not ready to rank up on fucking fortunate. Oh, I can buy a large treasure chest today. Dragon dung. Thank God I got that. I did get embers of mana though. That's actually useful. Uh, I have two more time slots left. Who do I want to talk to? I can't talk to him. I can't talk to Salt and Pepper. Also, I'm gonna have to brew more mana potions. I'm also gonna need to think about actually brewing the potions I need. Is it blue and purple I need for one of them? Yeah. Let's talk to... I don't want to talk to her. Is that friend to see that is? Let's talk to Zid. Zid, what do you think of drugs? I like that person who'd use them. Alright, let's go. I've got nowhere to be. It's safe for shopping spree, isn't it? I do really don't really need anything, but maybe it's something I will see someone can't resist. Did they always to a crowded marketplace? A skip in her step and a smile on her face. But you're enjoying yourself. You see a little manic? I probably do. You got to understand, back home, I never get to do stuff like this. I could leave my house up being mobbed by fans and photog tag photogs. Forget about a shopping trip. it have been a riot. Ridiculous complaining about it. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but it's a lot sometimes. I go incognito while in Rafta. 
wearing facial piercings? That interesting spin out incognito. Hey, I'm gonna say, I'm an original. I like want to fade in the background, just want distance between myself and my brand, I guess. Professional image is cookie cutter clean, but out here? Well, my style isn't around to tell me what not to wear. Fair enough. We're made by our own fashion choices, even when they're bad ones. Totally. I think the person needs to get to decide for herself. I can only- It wasn't meant to close our hair that we're out of control. Out of my control. Oh, this is a I got was finally over what I ate, where I went, who I spent time with. Thanks, I feel like they micromanaged my whole life, all in an effort to maximize my appeal to the widest possible audience. Let's get a break from all that to explore my own style. And write down your own music. Yes, exactly that. It's sort of all related, isn't it? Choosing your own look? The face you present to the world? Singing your own words? Where do you believe? It's all self-expression. Find your rhythm and people will hear what you're really trying to say. Wait, all cards? Oh, cu one less patience next turn. I bet I can tap my foot too. Be swinging, swinging along to my original composition soon. Ryan's going well? Yeah, I've gotten to the part in the story where Hero needs to lean on someone else. Don't you an animal helper? I've here on this aid of a great magician. Which job do you like best? Animal helper. Because adding an animal makes it every story adding an animal makes every story better. You pegged an animal lover all along. You want it? You got it. That's me. I think I want what where? Did you see? Oh both other just for shoes. Well, we put some pretty severe spikes. I think it might suit you. You'd be a judge of that. Got me figured out pretty well, haven't you? Come on, let's both try a repair. Alright. Now let's talk to Mint. All yours. But I have some time to hang out today. Something in my mind. It's important we talked about away from the guild hall. Walls there have ears, only some of which are stuffed and mounted. Top secret mission briefing? I'm not sure I have a proper security clearance, but I could talk to Beast. Uh, nothing like that. I want a little privacy, that's all. Just for a good talk and I'm really nervous about it. I'll be overthinking it though. Sometimes the best strategies have no strategy at all. I do my best work when I keep it simple. Nine for one, but you have to discard two cards or one. Yeah. Yeah, life is complicated enough. You should know you don't need to be nervous around me. Okay, it's the It's a little cheesy maybe, but bear with me. In general. I'm a pretty happy person, you probably noticed. I'm also a dreamer, a striver. I'm not just content to just accept life that is presented to me and not just push for more. I've always been that way. As long as I can remember. Growing up, I was the only one in my family who ever dreamed a life beyond our sleepy little port town. The one who wanted to leave one day. Well, ladies, nobody ever really got me. Not like you do. We're definitely kids with spirits. It's true. I saw in your eyes the first time we met. The same drive to succeed. The same refusal to sell for less. It's made my own journey easier, my whole life better, just knowing that we're on peril paths. Sylvia, you're my best friend. I'm so glad we get to experience Rafta together. That would be an exciting experience. I'm playing a hero for Bessie helps my odds. Oh, it's nothing to be afraid of, really. I'm confident we're going to leave our mark on this place as capable, enterprising individuals and as a team. Best teammate I could ask for. No, you are. Oh, look at us. A couple of softies. You got this, Sylvia. You and me. We'll possibly stand in our way. Um, my inability to make the potions you need to, to not die. By that, I mean my refusal to make the potions that make you not die. Finn's maxed out. You're maxed out. I need to get more to Roxanne. Uh, 
uh, give my gift to Luna. Salt and pepper couldn't give me anything. Batiste, no. Um, Zid? Zid and Corsac. Oh, no, I already gave one. Uh, Corsac, definitely not. Have you visited him today? Just gave mint something. No, I did not. What? How did I not give mint something? Here you go, mint. Uh, Luna gave something. So I think we're fine. Go get him. You too. I can't believe I forgot the fucking salt potions at the beginning of the last day. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. Okay, it bothered me. Now what? Oh, I know that face. Have you just swallowed a mouse? You're about to blur out another confession. I do have a confession. Is too strong a one. Listen, just remember you already forgive me, so you can't get mad. And that's not how forgiveness works, Oswald. Hear me out now. Can you do that for me? Just I need you to know the whole story. As I told you before, my own hubris is blamed for my current weather condition. Cross promotions, I was confident I could be the first to make it to Maven's abandoned castle and live to tell the tale. And I was right! Somebody didn't foresee all the complications. Complications is one way of putting it. Let me finish, would you? Naturally, I accepted to find a cure. Or I'm turning her, I set, set, set myself up to finding one. Whatever, every text I could find a subject, all the concerns were forgotten. I spurred not for thought my business, my customers, or my debt. When Helen came poking around, raising the place, I thought I was just some bird. This time she couldn't sense me with her magic. My transformation had broken that infernal soul binding of hers. I felt no great rush for a cure. But there is a cure. A potion, in fact. There is? That's great news. What do we need to make the cure? Well, that's a rub. I found the maven formula in Maven's old journals. Right next to the part where there's something about a memory game. Now, Crypt's exceedingly reincarnated. One, she herself cultivated in her castle of Bordeaux. It's known as Maven Bloom. Yes, the ingredient was thought lost to history. Shortly after her arrival here, members of the Hero Guild found a single sample locked away in her castle. They brought it back. And now, such from the Guildhall's faults, they now shall remain. Today is awarded to the Postmaker who wins the fifth and final competition. Wait, 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 wait. The ingredient you need. Can only be obtained by winning this competition circuit. The very circuit that you insist on was my only shot at saving myself from that you swallowed me with. Oswald, did you manipulate me to gain that greeting for you? No. A little. It's a happy coincidence. A competition is the best way you to make your money you need. It hasn't been working out so far. I'd like, like to mention that I had a second reason for rushing you in that direction. Oswald, I am going to throw you out that window. Alright, so now we have another option here. I'm warning you, no more secrets. You need to be on your best behavior. This might teach you that Maven Blue to make a delicious soup. Wouldn't. Fry me, see what happens. <sighs> also, you should know I ate the last cookie. You're getting skinned. You're getting. Tar you're getting feathered, defeathered. Done. It's over. You're dead. Too dead to me. Hey, there's strong ones. You have been warned. I believe you're getting midweek warning. You have been warned. That's just advice. We're not actually gonna make anything right away. And the reason for that is actually quite simple. I want to. The uh, reason is because I actually want to be able to. 
use my brain. I know, it's really hard to ask, but I want to at least try. Potions still sell. Okay. No, that's one already. That's a kiss cold. Alright, let's brew. <sighs> what are we brewing? Take a guess. I'll give you one chance. Incorrect, we're brewing more health potions. We're gonna have to kill Oswald for eating the last cookie. I can't believe that. I believe Oswald is about to die to my hand. Producing shit potions. Saying at least you. Get some all those shells in here. Alright, 
be everything. And we should be back before this is over. So... Turn in this this in literally right now. Yeah, oh my gardening. Unfortunately, in case another novel shell. I just want to get rid of these, honestly. Cookie. I can't believe I'm about to eat his fucking soul. Good enough now. Jesus me. And we're only gonna go out for one time unit. And that is to check on my tuck. See what we need to upgrade our yeah. That we can upgrade this. See any of these either. Any of these, right? I'll be back, don't worry. So, go ahead. Oh yeah, I need to gift you. How are you so good? I literally give you the same gift every single day. What do you mean, how good I... Am I so good? I'm literally giving you the same item every single day. Hey, 
Anyways, you're up next. And your final rank up is ready. Salt and pepper. Press, I can tell. All right, you're ready to rank up. Perfect. It's a new item, but I don't know what I'm looking for. But I got it. I just didn't see it. Possible. Are you ready to rank up? Are you ready to rank up? Zid wasn't ready to rank. Give her the dab, but it's whatever. Got saffron. Get a carpentry upgrade. Go, here's a mana conflagration. And that's everyone. Go to Quinn. And let me try to remember the edge we had before because maybe I just missed them. It's very possible. That means I might actually have to send my guys on suicide missions. I need to find these items. Alright, let's head to Muktuk first. Find yourselves what we needed. A gold dollar. That's the dragon crater. I haven't seen that yet. That's a super weird one. That's Xenoplasm, which I haven't seen yet. And a Jotun's Frozen Heart. This is Crater, this is Arctic, and that's Dragon. All that means one for each location. This will. Try and send everyone to the craters to see what we can get. Could rank up. No, we'll send you on adventures. We'll level you up later if we have more than enough people to level up. Alright, everyone to the crater. Everyone, please throw your bodies at the pool. Bodies at the wall. You're up next. You're also going to the crater. You're also going to throw your body at the wall. Oh, 
Mint, you're up last. You're actually gonna need a mana potion, unfortunately. Superior side enhancer too, but also a health potion. Only because she has the highest loot capacity. Alright, let's head back home. So we don't have to resource we need to upgrade these cauldrons. Alright, we also have... I think we have all of our cauldrons. Alright, oh, we collect all our stuff first. Alright. Bottle. Bottle. Figure that stuff out later. You also got some new stuff, right? Yeah, no. Look anything in the world, but I'll stick with my plain red, thank you. Mm, we do, maybe we should go for a little bit of it. Maybe we should go for like. Both. Ooh, I kind of like look at that actually. That's the floor. Oh, I forgot to actually customize the part that matters. Cauldrons. Clear cauldron. Part of cauldron. Alright, well enough wasting time, let's get back to brewing. Alright, but let's use our dragon cauldron or crater cauldron. So we need a tolerance potion. First off, what's D and E? Us to where we need to be, but not. Oh. Let me know for the basic minimum. Satisfactory. Not good enough. Enough. 
we need is a nuke. Let's do some shopping. I'm not satisfied with Let's ignore that potion for now. Education potion, uh, or silence potion on the other hand. like that. Maybe I'm not ready to make these yet, actually. I think I need more ingredients. I actually need to plan these out, I think. Ugh, planning. Disgusting. So maybe I'm not ready to make these yet. In that case, let's uh, go back to improvising. Anyways, this is fine.
I could just, I mean, I would need to bounce that. You only probably need two of those, right? Yeah, we can't make that. We need to plan out a little bit more. Definitely, it's probably going to lose those citrus. We are kind of running. But... <sighs> Actually, ironically, running on ingredients, funnily enough. What else can we brew? A bunch of Jill Scarabs. Next, I need. All right, we need mana potions. I forgot about that. Yeah, we need mana potions. Oh, we don't have green. That's what we have to do for now. Last and probably least, let's be realistic here.
Hytax. Alright, we need to actually plan a shopping trip. Fuck, actual planning. Thing up first, definitely not least, win. I need to plan right now. The biggest thing I need is single grades. Do you have any? Of these plays are these yeah, I just need a lot of green that's like the big and you also need blue and purple many singular sorts of that.
I'm hoping that's enough. Let's finish right now. Matter of fact, I have news. So if you are so kind to you donate those potions, I'm including them as prizes a part of the Hero of the Month program. That goes over well to buying more for me for each month. That's it pays to be generous. Well, something got me thinking about how nice we have some sort of control over my own business dealings. You didn't have to ask anyone's person to make a donation. And to justify your decision to your stakeholders. Well, I think I get some dirty looks from the owl. But hey, go for the month card sounds like a good way to boost morale. Oh, that's the bear's tip of the iceberg. I make some changes around here. Big ones. Yeah, I realized something. Now I'll just head on my make this organization better for the heroes. I was toying to covering the line. When my heart was with the heroes, my head was caught up in a certain way of thinking. An old way of thinking. The old ways are broken. We need new ideas, new parga paradigms. And the big changes you mentioned. That's right. And those big changes start the dissolution of the guild. You heard me. Effective it immediately. The Heroes Guild is no more. Place shall rise the Heroes Guild. I just realized it's probably confusing without seeing it spelled out. But it's an apostrophe now. A little confusing. It's hard. It's a simple idea. Rata's Heroes Guild has always been part of a larger organization, a franchise beholden to the main chapter back home. Which particular chapter is? A risky venture by modern standards. Builds a mainland a world old me mechanism. Out here, everything is less predictable and more dangerous. Well, it feels that they've put much more into Rata's Guild than they've gone out of it. So it's over to call it a money pit. Well, Offer to take it off their hands. So now you're in charge? Yes. A and no. I'm writing a new chapter. We'll now transform our little clubhouse into a non profit organization. The plan is that the heroes generate will be funneled directly back in the organization and into their own pockets. Because who's in charge, if I learned anything in recent days, it still limits my own perspective. I'll be holding elections to determine who'll join me on the leadership council. I like to employ representatives from their own ranks and establish a system of checks and balances. Heroes can rest assured their own personal blind spots won't become systemic blind spots capable of impeding the organizations as a whole. Wow. It actually sounds like he did it. He solved all of the guild's problems. Well, not all of our problems. Our chimps are still drafty, and like a natural light in the morning is just abysmal. Still, since our family agreed to this, the guild is a lucrative they hoped. It's obviously generating revenue. The new ingots after this, the potential of a chapter to be massively profitable down the line. The truth is, I can just hand it over. They're a business folk, after all. I was able to convince them the guild's perspective earnings were somewhat less than the value of my inheritance. So I'm officially out of the will. And my monthly stipend is a thing of the past. You mean... You're broke? For the time being, I still think I came out ahead in this negotiation. The guild is going places of and I, and my heroes, now stand to benefit directly from the hard work put into it. Plus, my mouth still into the set of regular care passages, my hair care regimen, at least, will not suffer in the meantime. Phew. Feel good about this, Sylvia. Starve a whole new way of doing things. The heroes Guild is for the heroes and by the heroes. That's the apostrophe. Exactly. See? Not just a flashy change. Let's not shop talk. Purely come. Let's make the most of our time. I teased with Sylvia down to the water, where he once again had a view of the Kraken skull. He stood it quietly, thoughtfully, as if an artwork in museum. Artwork he surely held some scared secret significance. Ah, oh, that scar skull does loom large, doesn't it? Many minutes ago, it's a little bit morbid. It's a good reminder of where we've been, but it awaits us at the end. Maybe that between those points, our two paths converged. This is the first time we've seen this animation. Bishop is a guiding light in my life of late. Truly, really, I've been stumbling in the dark. Help me make sense of my new surroundings, and he helped me find my purpose. He helped me too. It's good to you say so. 
And I trust the partnership shall continue to thrive in the years to come. You know, now that I think about it, we're quite fierce, Sylvia. Well, under pressure and honorable to you. Heroes Guild could use a recruit like you. You must be joking. <laughs> you know me well. I'm glad that you do. Thanks ever so much for being in the rarest of creatures. A true friend. Okay, that's fucking amazing. Silver tongue, raise interest by 10, remove all customer bus. It's been ever thanks to you. No problem. Now give me some investments I actually care about. Yeah, I'll talk to them. Hey, cats. We wrote in your off. I hope not. We're basically best friends now. Sylvia, pull up a fishing rod. We gotta replenish provisions. Let's fill ourselves with the ocean's bounty. And another one of this company. The price direction, Sylvia baits her hook with a writhing mirthworm. This toothy grin is unnerving. Castle lions and Sue's salt is singing. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish for a fish. I wish, I wish, I wish for a dish for that fish. Immense crow bite, nothing bites. Maybe I'm not like we're quiet. Or use more appetizing bait. Oh, we're just a decoy, so we're supposed to be super conspicuous. That way, the fish swim away from us, right into the blast fishing zone on the opposite side of the boat. As the saying goes, you catch more fish with cannons. There's an explosion nearby, followed by great splash of water. Prior to someone that Kyle and Triumph. Huzzah! Salt. Now would not be a good time to have the talk. Yeah, alright, Sylvia. Something we gotta discuss. Know that hey, your blood brother welcome to family stuff? Why have we gotten ahead of ourselves? Wow, so much for families forever, I guess. You're still blood brother, Sylvia. Yeah, we aren't dropping off the orphanage or anything. In fact, hold up. Start off the wrong pop. We need to have a pearly. In other words, let's clear our heads and start over. Discard three random cards. Dirt done. What do you want to talk about? Ain't really no big deal. It's just someone who uh, can't be a real party if you never made an offering to the big guy. The big guy? You know, the precious pissing, the water of salt, or save he of many scales and no fingers? The great Katuna. Oh, hell, the great Katuna. Great Katuna. Pirate deity, I take it? The one and only. Most trench far below watches all the transporters upon the ocean's surface. When he's pleased, our ships can come and go without any hassle. When he's displeased, look out. Storms, tidal waves, primordial horrors, newly awakened and crazed with hunger. And once, I got a splinter. That's why you stay on Katuna's good size by making an offer. Think I like the kids cut up the booty, if you know what I mean. Okay, so you throw stuff overboard like seashells, wine, mutton? I like cold hard cash, Sylvia. With the equivalent in precious goods. In your case, a couple of fancy potions would do the trick. Is it negotiable? Potions are my livelihood, my situation is a little precarious. That's sort of the point. In sacrifice, you're throwing away something you don't need. I don't need bounty you have by Ketuva's grace, Sylvia. So in poverty, you saw a grad who used for his benevolence. Anyways, it's not negotiable. I want to run a less got coffee dough. Or pony up the potions, I guess. Trust me, it'll be worth it. In the deep water deities good graces, it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. If I want salt and pepper, I gotta make a sacrifice good tuna. It'll hurt my bottom line, but I've come this far. Oh, I have to make one of those anyways. A radiation tonic. I might actually have to talk to other characters. I might have to talk to Roxanne. <laughs> no, I don't have to do that. We talk to Saffron. No, Saffron would have less stuff. Ooh. 
You're done, you're done, you're done. I need to get to watch this for you. Let's find ducks, find dandy. Potions will be done until tomorrow, so. Um, uh, I could hang out with Luna. Yeah, I should probably just Okay, as you wish. Business is booming, Sylvia. So much so as a little supply run is proven necessary. Comparatively low on gemstones, so keep an eye out for all the clears. Some precious wrench saw that has cheap jewelry laid on display. But she seems to wear Roxanne. Watch her closely, following her around a stall. Sylvia gets a person that word is spread about Roxanne's potions con. That's why she walked in the marketplace. Roxanne, however, keeps her cool. She giggles and blushes and touches Marcia's arm lightly. And later, she's made her purchase. Marcia waves warmly after Lucy exits the stall. There, success. She should have everything you need. Even three and three pair of earrings. I have to remove the casing, but the stones will be at least. What did you do that? You went up faster than ramen on a fire rune. I well, turned out charming a little. Bad my lashes, left as jokes. It works every time, whether you're buying or selling. That's a really neat card, actually. Okay, I'm not above trying that. And hey, speaking of flowery, gotta say. I'm impressed. You're doing good work, Roxanne. I'm glad it's paying off. Yeah, so many strides in a short time. Can I get I've done it all on my own? Force of nature. Really unstoppable. I get some advice it's hard to see. Careful that land too thick though. The next X V. That's set sees the momentum, right? What about advertising? Oh no, I'm afraid that'd be a grave mistake. Collaboration of mine isn't entirely legal, after all. What? Sam, so, tell me you're going legit. Two jokes make use of my legitimate talents, and that's true. Found it in all its rules, it's positive to do anything by the book. I never became a con artist, you know. I went to pretty marvelous rackets over the years. Ocean's Con wasn't your first. Far from it. I my teeth several years ago on a pyramid scheme. Literal pyramid scheme, mind you. We claimed to erect one in the heart of the capital city. Investors are lining up. Before I got too high, I set up another town in fortunes for a while. I'm just laying my kind's palms, pouring honey in their ears. While helping myself to constant their pockets. I'm quite dexterous with the tail, you know. I mean, we caught on. Moved on card games, counterfeiting. A bit of light blackmail to keep things interesting. I'm going to have a heart attack. You're, you're a criminal mastermind. Why, well, thank you. I'm telling you, Sylvia. I'm reformed. I'm not doing anything wrong this time. However, to operate business down, you're required to secure a business license. I know all about it. It's not really such a hassle. Easy for you to say. You're able to take the shortcut. I want a degree from a credit college, so I'll make the issue to license to operate a business here. A person who should attract so-called talented people to after. I don't know as you recently, recently attended a degree, you tend to bring it up every five minutes. When's the last time I even brought it up? I'm not sure that's true. Because I've never had that particular opportunity. Alright, so card is an option. What's the normal procedure like? Well, I have to pay a fee, submit some paperwork, and pass an exam of some sort. Is that all? That's not too bad. Are you certain? That sounds perfectly tedious to me. I mean, what's the point? Caught cutting corners, I'll just move on to the next racket. Why don't you leave, Roxanne? Can enjoy your company. I need to get attached, but so quickly. Ah, fuck me. You have a point, though. Being just see what might develop in my life. We're forced to pull up to six and move out every mo month. Alright, I'll do it. I'll get my license. I'll go look good doing it. I only warn you, nobody looks good in their license photo. Nonsense. Tricky as long get your neck. Smile with your eyes. I'm trying to put with bodily harm. Good advice. Uh... No one's back from their uh, trip to hell. I'm not busy or anything. That's good. Now this is what I needed. A break from the shop of the endless demand of customers. I need to be pampered again. 
Why don't you join me for a manicure? I'm not sure at the point when we both wear gloves all day. Oh, but it's a thing, Sylvia. We're not doing this for other people. This is just for us. Send me the way to the local spa, where she sells into a cushy seat and invites Sylvia to sit beside her. Sylvia is skeptical, she sells it and removes her gloves. That nail technician sits across from her and makes light small talk while she brushes a waxy substance over Sylvia's nail. It's pleasant, relaxing. I would like to be pampered. The drilling noise Joseph from Daydream with multiple techs working on rocks and nails with brought out some heavy equipment. It's also dramatic. That's for the glitz cream treatment. Gold plating, red gemstones, and nails sharpened to a deadly pulp. That's a lot. Oh, this is nothing. Just wait until you see the peg here again tomorrow. Tomorrow? It's too long and dough. It's life on certain fortunes taught me anything. It's to spend it while you've got it. I might not have it for long. I got my up I got my own upcoming pirate jamboree. I'm charged extravagant. The stem from other parkours is encouraged, so who knows? I come out ahead in the end. That looks pretty intense. There's truly no party like a pirate party, because a pirate party just doesn't stop! <laughs> it can be dark and claustrophobic, and the more parties you can cram the board, the hotter it gets. Let's go slice the underworld on the high seas. The problem is that I need someone to mind the shop while I'm away. While you're away, how long is a party exactly? Well, it's a possible dick. They can run for weeks. Weeks? You can't just leave your business behind for that long. Those are all your customers. You don't have to start from scratch. Do you have an exam coming up? You're supposed to gain your business license. Maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I'm not cut for staying in one place. No, it's a sign of weakness. What are you so afraid of? You know... You're right, Sylvia. It's so obvious to me now. I'm just deeply afraid to turn into a wet blanket like you. As role models go, you could do worse. I look for role models so much I look for someone to pass. I do have a bit of a streak, you may have noticed. Oh, I've noticed. Look, I've got something to prove. I'm still maintaining and exceeding my current level of success. When it comes to the expense of a party or two, is there one of these customers supposed to be bending over backward for? Here you go, a coupon, just for you. Thanks, I'll never use it. Tell me a satisfied customer. Thank you, nothing. I sh nothing on it. I should have home now. Our responsibilities, after all. You and me both. You always need to put your life on hold for sake of your career. I'm going to my life's been on hold for some time. Besides, there'll be other parties. They'll leave me one in my honor one day. We all gather to toast my success. Well, I'm glad you're confident. Alright, give you guys. Alright, as I what I think, let's head home. I think I got all the ranges I needed. Alright, when is Anubis gonna do something? What vacations are like. And eh, you'll get one soon enough. Greetings, Sylvia. How's business? Trust you're not letting a goose little girl get to you. Anubia? She's unnerving, but I'm not too worried. Good. That's good. Someone needs to take that little upset down a peg. I'm guessing you're not a fan. Fan? I'm not sorry coming to my home acting like she owns the place? I should say not. I've traveled extensively. I've seen a grand empire of myself. The Stereo Cinderblock Dystopia. A monument to mass production. Actually, you spell you into the iron seas, and the people accept it because, in short term, their lives are comfortable. That's what she wants to do with Rafta. Also, I respect the hustle. Her large scale business model requires it. There must be a new market. Success is defined as growth, not equilibrium. She made a dire mistake coming here. Rafta doesn't need another queen. Right. Took down the last one. Yes, yeah, something like that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dredge up the past. I meant to say Anubis can only grab as much power as people when they give her, but their other ambitions might be. I'm not gonna let her dominate the potions market. Very good. That's all I was hoping to hear. I like you, Sylvia. You know your place. Good luck out there. Oh, my place? What's that supposed to mean? I think the boy's gotten a bit big for his purchase. I was never a fan, you know. All he has to do is sell a potion 
He slashes dimples and bad eyelashes. That's all us work for a living. Wait, is that why you have such an issue with him? Because you're competitors? And you got all the attention? Oh my gosh, you're jealous of him, aren't you? I had dimples too, you know. Alright, time for my, uh, weekly gardening. I feel like I'm gonna need a lot more shells all of a sudden. Like, a lot more shells. Just dump a uh, white on them. What are these? Okay. Take two! Let's see if we can brew stuff some of the potions we need. Alright, so first up, let's see if we can make that tolerance potion. this. That's what we needed. Some good old fashioned dumping. Days to make. That's exactly what we're looking for. one we're looking for is the petrification potion which I think we got I think it was we didn't get any of those because this is great and this
two, three. I only need. I'd have to really upsell this. Book. Is there any way we can improve? Close though. Stuff also. Huh? Whoops. Yes. Exactly what I was me meant to look for. Okay, in that case, yeah, one frame coming. Yeah, that should be more than enough to win by default, especially if we get lucky. And just like that, I've already won the next contest. Now it's time to start going back to what I was doing before, mass producing. with this. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Mass, mass producing cheap potions have worked pretty well for me. I don't see what the problem is, honestly. I, mean, I, I feel like she's being an entrepreneur in that regard. I honestly don't see what the problem is. Really don't. Oh, I completely forgot I need to make a uh, radiation protonic. It's fine. Make it later. God, I think I had this problem before. We are off by one. It's so annoying.
Try to use this makeup radiation tonic. What's a radiation tonic? It's C and E. To carry it over the edge. Very stable, make it superior. Alright, perfect, exactly what I wanted. What am I doing? That. People complain. I mean, I get it. They weren't expecting the game to be like this, but I love people complain about the games like, oh, it's too hard right away. It's like, what were you expecting? It's a management game. This isn't Stardew Valley. This is Rusted Here. It's a difference. Change potions. I might need those spear fire tonics. So obviously, Owl is not maxed yet. Wind is maxed. You're maxed. Sapphire and I haven't even started on. Luna, waiting for the. Oh, yeah, Luna, I'm waiting to upgrade, so she's basically maxed. Roxanne is fine. They're waiting for the potions. You're maxed. You are two away. You're two away. You are, by the way, you're six. I'm actually running out of people to talk to. Pause well, moment, but I have some goods here. I'm just asking you to try, my good sir. Asking you to try. However, he still fucking failed. He got my face. That was good before I got stomped. Not bad. Get on my face. Not bad. Not great. I wanted to aim for great. It's fine. I wasn't expecting you to do much. Um, that's a spark of mana. Five. Nothing I haven't seen. Uh, right for right now, get on my face. This is success. Here are the spoils. That's custard. Uh, I think I need that actually, and another ore. And I'm not sure if we've seen that one or not, but we're gonna accept all those. 
And uh, let's see if we can hang out with Luna. Gift. I want to check something. So I got sparks of mana. 165 Agamins. Uh, wait, what? Where are my... There they are. Yeah, it's still 275. Mana configuration is just way better. Still. How are you so good at this? I don't know. You tell me. Got an update. Sophie, as much as I wish otherwise, I'm not about fishing for compliments. So, notice anything different about me? You see me back to your perky self and not literally destroying your own mind. Well, I have you to think for that. Your potions may feel humanoid again. Maybe I'll let her serotonin talking, but dang, you are good at what you do. Once I was, once I was thinking clearly again, I made a big decision. I turned down a buyout offer. Your regular relationship with the royalty has officially come to an end. Oh, really? I wasn't sure which way you'd go. Me neither, but indecision was getting me nowhere fast. I had to make a choice. I hope it's the right one, but you know, it feels right. Well, it feels right to me. My parents are acting like I just set myself on fire. Told them already? Yeah, I figured I needed to rip, rip, rip the bench right off. I explained to them, but I'm not sure they really heard me. I heard the amount of money I was walking away from how prestigious a job would have been. I must be proud of you though, right? At least a little. No. That's a funny thing. I was talking to my sister this morning, the surgeon, I mentioned her before. She knew all about what I've been up to. Turns out, the parents have been bragging all about me. What about how I'm my own boss? How quickly my business was growing. Frankly, they made me sound super impressive all around. But anyways, you know I was jealous of my sister. The whole time, she's been jealous of me. I was looking at the bike she you thought you were. I guess not. Maybe all my siblings feel the same way from time to time. And so, friends can complain to me all they want about um, turning down this golden opportunity. I know they're proud. And one day, they will even say it to my face. If there was an opportunity, they only had taken away the parts of my job I actually liked the best. It was like we're going to diverse array of scrappy entrepreneurs. Help the voices rise above the clamor. I mean, I wasn't thinking all about what I enjoyed. I was right back to my old climb the corporate ladder mindset. Our search for success was defined by other people. Well, by my definition of success, you are killing it. Maybe that, that means the world to me. Don't need any more if I just it's a view. I shame myself for motion can wait until tomorrow. Why don't we get some air? Are we going back to the Kraken Skull? Oh yeah, I could. Ooh, fresh air, yum yum. You know, fresh air actually is kind of so you got a minute to breathe. I'm just seeing the appeal. I can say, I am one chill moth. It's funny, I never want to become a raft to be more independent. I wanted some space, some distance between myself and everyone who knew me. It all had so many expectations, all expectations were boxing me in. But then I came here where nobody knew me. The way all those expectations, it didn't go away. Maybe we were never totally free of desire to please our parents or uncles. Isolating yourself doesn't make life any easier to navigate. That's the truth. I've learned anything from our time together. We can support each other while pursuing our individual dreams. Why to be a true secret of success? Settling our ambition isolate us. We use to prop up one another. We achieve our goals together. Let's make a look at our idea. Shake on it? A handshake, Sylvia? That's way too formal. It comes for a selfie, don't you? Raise interest as well for each current level of interest close sale. Damn! That's actually pretty good. And reach max relationship with Luna. I have a potion, potion I just see you. Oh, no reason to. I sell all my potions via vending machine. Thank you, though. Uh, who do you want to talk to? 
So Luna's complete. Finn's complete. And Batiste is complete. I haven't even started Saffron. Mint's pretty close. I'm gonna see if I can get mints. Alright. Mine always feels worthwhile. Yeah, and she should be at. Was she at 8 or 9? I think she should be at 8. I like how you hang around today. I need to pick me up. You have an undeniable ability to cheer me up. I take my best friend responsibilities very seriously. What should we do? Ooh, I know. Somewhere out there, a cat is stuck in a tree. It happens every day. Those kids are here with those meows for help go unanswered. Just be clear, when you say cats, I mean pirates, yeah. Very enthusiastic climbers, those pirates. Come on, I'll show you. No surprise, Mint was exaggerating the plight of Raft's cat pirates. It's scarcely five minutes walk from Mint spots a fearful fear line climbing a high branch. The second kid is no fresh kin. He's a wizened old pirate with great fur around his muzzle and sun bleached peg leg. And does the skill tree in order to coax the pirate down safely. Once his paws are back on solid ground, the cat cut uses by the way a thank you, then darts off to the docks. You think they'd learn not to climb those things? It just never ends for them. I guess I know what it's like to make the same mistake over and over. Take my quest, for instance. Just doing the luck out there. But yeah, luck. All the bad. The other day, I found a pretty famous short sword that was wielded by some epic campaigns. I went out into the dragon's sword. I had to fight my way through a clutch of drakes, sneak past a sleepy dragon, solve a super obtuse riddle just to get my hands on it. Sounds like quite the adventure. Yeah, but the sword's whole thing is that glows when it's the city of a monster. Which, as it turns out, isn't super helpful when there are monsters ever are trying to retain the, when you're trying to retain element of surprise. That picked out fable artifacts called the Everstone. It's been abandoned atop the highest peak of the island. When stories, whoever wields the episode has a strength increased tenfold. Well, that made those chanted with a buff of some kind. Turns out, it's just a heavy rock. It makes you stronger if you bench press it every day. Look on the bright side. They have quite a view from top that mountain. No, I really did. I wish you could have been there. That's why everything is else going on. I've been high spirit since our big talk. It feels good, good to have a friend, especially one who isn't caught up in all the guild politics. Plus, no worry, I'm not pulling my weight here. I'm sure that's not true. That's don't lie, Sylvia. That tea tracks it all. We brought the most loot this week, we took down the most monsters, who cleared the dungeon fastest. Wait, they have time trials for that shit? I'm not the worst, but I'm not the best. Not in my category. I didn't come all this way to be, you know, mediocre. It's time to step up. Time to prove I'm worthy. A finding weapon fit for a true hero. I know it's out there, Sylvia, and I'm going to find it. One that gets you. Or not, not, if you want this coupon. I want it, I do. Today, everybody gets what they want. I'm going back out there. I'm not going to quit until I find what I'm looking for. Oh god, I'm going to need a sight potion. Mint. Actually, one sec. I'll be right back. Mint, I actually have a job for you. What's the quest? I'm uh, gonna throw you out into the middle of the Arctic and uh, hope for the best. Like I said, I'm gonna throw you out into the middle of the Arctic and uh, hope for the best. You know, ironically, you'd almost have enough health to just clear the entire thing. If you actually had the right cures. Anyways, you got this. Alright, Sid, so you're next. Let's rank up with you. Let's chill for a bit. Taking care of your vocal cords, Sylvia. I can't say I've given that much thought. You should. It's another similarity between us troubadours and traitors. We both use our voices a lot. Believe me, 
Catch more flies with honey tones. A random idea from Sylvia. Decreased stress by three. Can only play as an opener. I learned to love my larynx. Good. Maybe we should start going someplace more quiet. The good cards are livelier than ever. And while cards are good for business, it'd be good to be able to catch all that straining of voice boxes. Or chat. Lead the way. There's bound to be a quiet corner somewhere. I think I know just the spot. Come on, let's get out of here. <clears throat> now this is a view. Isn't it just, I've been coming up here to write whenever I can sneak away for a few minutes. And the song? It's going good, Sylvia. Oh. I'm expecting too much, but I sort of feel like it could be important, if that makes sense. Storytelling is powerful, and storytelling is set to music. It makes people feel things, and that's some potent magic. At least, it is when you get it right. Speaking of which, the story needs conflict. What type should it be? Unthinkable. Let's do a... Internal. Okay, here's the ones who have to overcome their flaws. In the end, we're all our own worst enemies, right? That's smart to me. Let's see what I can come with it. And... Well, I don't know how much I appreciate your willingness to be part of a process like this. It means a lot. Hey, it might be all about. You really mean that, don't you? I met a lot of people in my own work, you know? But I learned to keep most of them at a distance. You're on the bardic circuit. Everybody wants a piece of you. You have to be protective of your time, your ideas, it's purity even. You're different, Sylvia. Do that right away. Generosity, curiosity, you made an instant impression on me. I don't know you. My initial impressions have only been confirmed. You inspire me, Sylvia. I have to tell you so. What kind of person believes in the importance of words? I want you to know the absolute thrill it is to be your friend. The words right out of my mouth. You inspire me too. In that case, I look forward to seeing you perform on stage soon. Oh, that's not really what I meant. Aw, oh, just teasing. Now I've said it, I can't stop picturing it. Genuine friendship is too rare of a thing in this world still. We should celebrate every chance we get. We should sing it from the rooftops. Sounds like an epic duet. So epic, it'll set the charts on fire. All right, now I'm gonna send you to your death. I hope that's okay with you. I'm gonna send you to your death and uh, you should be fine. Horsack! I forgot to give her a gift. And if I should say, nice a patch of sunlight in a goblin's larder. I guess it means cave. Let's rank up. Come along. Of course. Here we are. This is an improvement, isn't it? Oh, look there. Where's our spring to life? Bounding towards some small object in the pad. Looks to be a bit of mud, maybe. Or... Is that... Oops. Looks like pulls a thick notebook from his pocket. Is that... A poop journal? Yes. If you want to learn about the animals in particular sign, their population density and migra migratory patterns of diet and capacity to thrive, look no further than its excrement. So he contemplates his words. Corsac unsimilarly sticks a finger into the mound of exc excrement. Oh, it's still warm. This will make for a riveting journal entry. Mark scribbles notes down in his journal. Extension notes. Simple wonders like you possibly have so much to say about it. Honestly, once he started to calculate his observations, Corsac closed the journal still to the way. That's a ceiling. What to find? Yeah, it's always charming. I like that side of you. I'm all through the when I'm out here. That is an endless source of fascination. Hard to believe you are at all the reckless experiments of a single self-interested witch. Talking about Maven, right? Yeah, I remember her. 
Everyone keeps on saying they wish you to respawn over and over again. They're grinding for something called, I don't know what it's called. They called it Blood of the Mages or something? None other. I remember as a child, hearing the rumors about her. People say she's just, uh, you can just only infuse it with life. Strange life. I always found the idea offensive. Nature is a sacred and well-balanced mechanism. Not to be reshaped by our whims. Yet, now that I'm here, I can't deny view of what she set in motion. Besides an exercise of vanity, unbound ego, this grown is a sacred little mechanism of its own. One deserves more respect than we give it. Wow, that's by far the most empathetically I've ever heard you speak. Is the island you're passionate about it? But that was obvious. I thought you were hopelessly awkward. All this time I've been trying to get you to open up. You have plenty to say when you're a topic you care about. Isn't that the way it should be? Words full of enough noise. We need to go around making more of it just for the sake of exercising our tongues. Alright, Corsac, I feel personally offended by what you just said. We should speak when there's something to say. If there isn't, to channel the mighty mollusk. Strength comes from silence and serenity. Like, more like a snail? Really? Isn't a mollusk a clam? Really? And it's two shield per turn, persist until another stance card is played. You say so. I did say so. I guess it's something you really believe in. Try it. Glad to hear it. Sure, no biggie. No. I mean it. Not everyone be so open to my ideas, my opinions. Don't you know I appreciate it? So don't make this offer just anyone. You want to borrow this journal. You know, to record your own operations? Well, just say the word. Thanks. But I believe it or not, I think you found the one topic which I really don't have anything to say. Hey, Eskerman studying is a really is serious business. Like super serial. I'm I'm not even joking here. Like actually. Like studying like things like poop shows you so much about what's going on in local wildlife. It's actually kind of insane. Uh, you know, like that, urine trails, just any type of tracks in general can tell you so much about the current wildlife. Maybe not as much as he's letting on, but it's actually pretty important. We dare ring up again. I don't know, I kind of like a new conversation with Corsac. Company's welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you dropped in on me today, Sylvia. Well, thank you, Corsac. That's down at warm. I'm going to take your advice to heart. Exchanging pleasantries and the like. It's not all that different around conduct myself when I'm in a new biome. The more innately you show, the easier it is to pivot things if you things don't go your way. Uh, gain two shield per card played prior to this card on current turn. I can see perils. Look at the town as sort of a biome makes a certain amount of sense. It's working out for me anyways. I feel more ease lately. That said, I want a quick prowl around the forest if you're up for it. Well, how about this weather? Oh, if you're worried about running any creatures out here, don't. I'm wearing Lycan Throat Musk. It keeps most bees at bay. Although, it's supposed to have the opposite effect on them. I've created a monster. Have I die? Be careful now. My line between smooth and smarmy, and that's advanced stuff. I would trust we'll get to it soon enough. Your agreeable company, Sylvia. I know that under best of circumstances, it can be hard for hard a man to get to know. We certainly did not start under the best of circumstances. I'm sorry I went after business like I did, and I'm very grateful. You chose not to bear a grudge. Oh, I've got a grudge, alright. The fact that I keep dropping in for small talk, that's all part of my grand revenge scheme. I recognize that you're joking. Well, at least because of the best revenge, I'm going to just leave me be. That's a certain irony to my situation. I'm never lonely in the wilderness. I'm perfectly easy in my own company, or in the company of animals. Girls excluded, obviously. Obviously. But as soon as I'm around people, all I can see is how different I am. The poorly thin spaces I'm meant to occupy. 
We're all lonely sometimes. Part being human. At very least, I tend to keep your social calendar very full. I've noticed, and I'm happy for it. Or else happens, I've got one true friend. And that's no small thing. Not a small thing at all. Actually, what is my track to actually like? It's a say 37. I think I have the potions I need to win the competition. I'm having no problems with money. Like, at all. It's perfect. Done, think about it. Has she done anything to try and mess with me? I don't think so. I think she's tried anything with me so far. <clears throat> Which is kind of spoopy, actually, when you think about it. She's done nothing to try and disrupt me. Like everyone else would have done at this point. Kinda spippy. What's she planning? What's her 3,000 year plan like a fucking mummy like her would do? You sit there and be fat. Fat and happy. Alright, let's check out our potions. So, let's work with tolerance potions with one star. Exactly what I wanted. I wish I would have bought some shells. I should have bought some shells before I came back. Eh, it's fine, I'll live. But speaking of living, I think I'll survive if I decide to that. Make it smell a little bit better. It also means I can make five of them, which is way more money than if I had one more star to it. Science cure, two stars. All right, I should. Yeah, the competition's gonna be decimated. There'll be nothing left standing. I'm actually just gonna kill everyone. They're gonna look at my potions and they'll actually just go into riot and start murdering each other. Completely not planned, by the way. I was hoping to just, you know, be appreciative of all the good potions I made, not actually go on a murder spree. But you can't predict these things, you know. We'll see how amazing my potions are, and there'll be riots in the streets. I don't have a god complex, I don't know what you're talking about. Bye. 
I, I honestly think my money issues are basically like null and fucking void at this point. Let's let's just make this simple. We don't have to make it more complicated than it has to be. We have so much money we can save up at this point. I just want the base one for yeah base radiation potion for that. I don't know what other potions I'll need, so we'll have to see what happens there. Okay, and then we uh that and we're done. Being said, let's go ahead and put our participation potion up. Bones potion up. And there we are. We are completely ready for whatever comes our way. Um, I really don't care for the master of tolerance potions. Wait, wait, I need them though. I need to keep some of these potions. The healing potions I I'm making literally in mass. Science cues, right? Well, you can sell these and keep the computer that nice. yeah, We'll keep all these for now because I feel like we're gonna need them at some point. Talking to people. Oh, uh, actually, no, we fucked up. No, we actually fucked up. Might as well travel back to our base. Uh, thank God. See, that's why you save before. To finish this custom order. Nation tonic? Oh, no. Bonds person, nation tonic. Yep. Uh, what are we looking like anyway? So, Finn's done, Maltec's done, Flint, uh, you haven't started on Saffron. Luna's done, Roxanne is at four. Salt and Pepper might be done. Tease is done. Mint needs to level up more. One more. Orsac is at seven. The Jill's at seven. This is, uh, this is going pretty fucking smoothly. This might be a sprint to the end once we get past the uh, A40.
right. You got a Batiste. You Four sack. Oh, all right, didn't send them out. Right, I forgot to do that. It's fine. Um, I can give you a gift. I think this is what. Sure, now it's a good time. <sighs> Put on brave face, Sylvia. I've been struggling. You know it takes a lot to phase me. I always say, when going gets tough, tough shrug it off. From random debuffs of Sylvia, one card. Words slip by. That might be, but lately I've been having trouble putting those words into action. I don't really want to be here right now. Can we bail? Oh my element. I believe I brought you up. I believe I haven't brought you out here already. And hey, two sets are better than once. So maybe we can multitask. Particularly if it's just stalking celery on the loose. Stalking celery. Yeah, you know, like celery but toothier. What's going around biting the heads off of cute little pixies? I think it must be rabid. No soon as Mitt finished describing Cory that simply catches sight of something moving through the underbrush. Small green, with long gay soft body, massive leaves atop its head, and also fish's teeth jutting from a gash like mouth. It was only second sex. Wait, behind you. It's right there. Huh? But where? Mint spins around the scanning bushes and for a prey. Celery is unnaturally swift, however, and time takes Mint to act, it's made its escape. Well, no big loss. Can't have gotten too far. Next time, just grab it. Can't bite through your gloves. Let's keep looking. Whoever naps, I think it's a reward. It scores points to the guild. I could use a win. My quest took a turn for the worst. What happened? Found another artifact. A cloak this time. Cloak of whispers. Ooh, sounds spooky. Our investments are always a little spooky. Look, it's supposed to boost your stealth. If you head up, it will some secrets to your ear. So if like a location nearby and use the secret doors, but when I wore it, Olivia, it was so mean. I don't belong in the guild. I'm not good enough. That's obviously not true. You're not. It's a super rude thing to say. So, I may have set it on fire, burnt a stupid thing to ash. Still hear its voice in my ear. Tell me, Batiste. Oh, is, is she angry at, like, thing, the fact that the cloak said mean things or the fact that she burnt it? don't stare at women's chests whenever they're breathing, but do their breasts usually expand that much when they're breathing? I never notice! And that's... Wait, hold on that thought. Did you see... I'm sure I saw a celery. It's right over there. Go get it. Missed your chance. Yes! Wait, no. Celery is on choice of setting up ambush. You keep so you can take it down at the same time. But that's okay. Some great recon. I marked my map. My guild trackers will be able to find a creature's lair from here. Want to track a guild of glory? Maybe. I almost forgot. It's not about who gets the credit. It's about getting the job done. I still win, right? Chat more while we head back. The sooner we send out here, the better. Because, what about you? I don't want any more dead pixies on my conscience. I'm just so we could level up, and she's putting in the hours. At this point, I think the fixation of finding legendary weapons is actually holding her back. I finally help her move forward. Two sp here are your speed potions? Okay, sure. I guess. I already gifted her. You know what would help you in your thing? Go on a random adventures into places you're probably going to die horribly. 
Look, it's fine. I'll give you literally the best health potion money can buy. Uh, oh, right. Salt and pepper, actually. I'd love to talk to you and Corsac. We can be happy with the spoils. Alright, I do have to talk to you. Um, gift. Have. Mana. Do that right there. Salt and pepper. Too quiet without you around. Oh, thank you for that. I'm gonna buy your treasure chest. Ooh, I feel like I just got a lot of good things. A polylog? What? Okay. Probably only your place here. Curious about something. I'm gonna PRP. I'm gonna destroy the local ecology. I'm legit curious if that works or not. I wish I can level up. Salt and pepper needs more work. In this I'm gonna check on saffron though, because I feel like, well, one, I wanna buy some uh, fuel. No, I actually need to buy hay, weirdly enough. Needing to buy hay because it's a filler. Uh, carpentry. Yeah, I need yeti fur and more logs. I need five of them. One piece. Serve and love the Lord. That's what you're gonna say next, right? Right? First off, you need to give me a sec. Try to be worthy of it. Better. Right, pull up a seat. Like, this has just been five hours of talking. Always good to see you. Not nice to have a friend, really. Otherwise, I've made this effort sooner. Yeah, it's not half bad, is it? It's really good to know I have someone I can trust. I can call in times of need. That's so sweet. I can also look at the fact you're clearly about to ask for a favor. And obvious, huh? Looks like just a box tuckled just tuck just beneath the seat. Some boxes a bed of straw, a small bowl of seat, and a bird. Herb! The Sylvia with what she's sir is a glint of malice. Yeah, is that bad? Because it's precious. Thing. Please don't infantize the running predator, Sylvia. This is a spew jay. The name towards projectile spit. Oh, uh, consider myself warned. People hunt these birds because their stiff feathers make excellent fletching. And hunters tend to kill the quarry. It's easier that way. Easier for the hunters, I mean. Love the bummer for the birds. Not a better way. Have yeah, of course an extra set of hands. One else needs to massage the bird while the other very carefully removes the appropriate feathers. Quite imposed, but your best friend I've got. The only one on this whole line who might be willing to help. What takes the wrong way? I'm not trying to lose all this or anything, but have you made any friends in the guild? You've been here a while now. When you should mention it. 
What's the time not too long ago? I said I didn't have much in common with anyone here. Or any need to seek common ground. I aim to keep my head down and do my job. It's just fine on my own. And now? No, I suppose I developed an interest in socializing. That's your influence. Might need our benefits running in the pack. Benefits? Like I'm going to massage the murder bird. That, sure. But they're intangible benefits too. Only for I ever had, I would consider myself lucky. I find myself thinking about the companionship of my peers. Much the ease of which they gather, like rot flies congregate on a carcass, and I envy it. I don't know where to start, though. I haven't come across anyone you know, It's approachable here. Oh, well, I wouldn't compare anyone to a rot fly. Not by way of starting conversation, anyways. Otherwise, the first step making friends should be open to it. But since you've already made progress, maybe you're right. You will still be surrounded by new friends, like a unicorn in heat. Uh, in the meantime, we should take care of this PJ before it calls reinforcements. You know what to say, birds of a feather eviscerate together. What exactly have I signed up for? Don't worry, I've got your back. And your hazard pay. Eh, I'll take it. I had a feeling. Now, I'll take all those calls of yours. You should be... Expect quite a bit of packing. And fucking tastic. Speaking of which, how would you like to go on an adventure? Go for a quest right now? Good, because you're going to die. Have fun. Give me a gift. Right. Yes, adventure time. Go die in a fire. And don't return until you do. Alright, let's talk to Roxanne more. I really don't want to do this, but I don't have any options left. like this, I know you would. Anyways, let's rank up. Something on your mind? Wow, it's hot down here. Yes, it took some doing, but I've only got the temperature up into the proper range. That was a frost enchantment keeping the lava's heat in check. I deactivated it, then threw some, kind some kindling for good measure. I like the heat. Like most of the I grew up underground. Just be careful not to burn the place down, please. Those I can avoid that, but it's hardly fair you keep amending the terms of our agreement. I think don't set my house on fire is a pretty reasonable request. You're right, of course you're right. Truly, Sophia, you have a front of wisdom without equal. You're laying it on a little thick. Sometimes pandering is the best way to steer confidence in your figure. God, I'm so tired. In your favor, things need to be damned. That's a pretty solid card. 2 for 24. Increase just by 3 by the start of uh, Sylvia's turn. That seems good. But it's time for dinging, anyways. Wield the power responsibly, dear protege. No, Susie isn't here. I promise I need more kindling. Care to come along? Okay, go into force, or we're gonna find people to throw in there. I mean, I'm up for either. Here we are. There's sounds to be abundant driftwood along the shore. You know, okay, I'm a good at the option. You may be buying kindling from a vendor. I know this one, Druid. There are some things you must do yourself. Then takes a piece of driftwood from the sand. She pulls it close if it's sniffing it. If I can just make out the sound of Rex and whispering an unfamiliar language. Was that a spell? It's a ritual, but now a magical one. I don't want to be secretive, but I tend to be private about my heritage. I am still working on exactly what it means to be demon living on the surface. That's to say, this ritual is significant to gathering a feel for the hearth. So please keep your eye out for more driftwood, but allow me to carry it all myself. What do you say? I want to respect your traditions. Particularly your traditions that save me from manual labor. Mm -hmm. Only teasing. I appreciate you taking this seriously. Every demon carries their own killing during the week of a thousand pyres. Ooh. I'm not familiar with the a thousand pyres. 
It's of great importance to my people. You see, demons didn't always live below ground. Long ago, we called the surface home. The generation. Well, generations of conflicts finally forced my ancestors to flee their homes. They left everything behind and undertook a great migration, but still, that wasn't enough to satisfy their oppressors. The battles were pursued by the enemies. Ultimately, they are backed against a mountain range. It looked dire. Lighting pyros for the fallen, the exiles despaired for the future of humankind. Then, in the light of those many pyres, something was illuminating the seemingly in this rock of the mountains. It was a cavern. The cavern led to a vast network of underground tunnels. More than that, it was salvation. We've been underground ever since. And when we meet each year, we keep our hearts blazing in memory of those who came before. It's a beautiful story, but it's so sad. I believe I never heard of it before. It's a history is written by the victors. Why I found survivors tell more compelling tales. Thank you for allowing me to share mine. I'm far from home, Sylvia. To my knowledge, I'm the only demon on this entire land mess. It's not in my nature to feel lonely. When demon on holidays like to stroll around, I think of the people I've left behind. I think of my family. I am glad not to be entirely alone here. Let me know if your nights get lonely. My friend always keep you warm. Oh, fuck it. Dear girl, I'm not sure you could handle the heat. God damn. Whatever. Thanks, also I'm not sure I realize how much your ticket holiday meant to me until just now. I got irritating to be sharing with you. I thought both of them were kind of racy. It's just me. Ah, uh, sure, let's rank up again. Try to work if you want to loiter. Not really, but seems like it mean option. We're in a treat. I think we're in one too. I do you like ice cream? Then you shall have it, darling. Just let me do the talking. Then slinks up to count orders a pair of spicy cinnamon ice creams. He goes in for a wallet, but it isn't there. He must apologize. He pats himself down, searching, coming up empty. Then she bursts into tears. Apple's ice cream merchant, desperate to see more waiting, offers to treat free of charge. Oxen quickly brightens up. A little too quickly. What's that? That was the performance of a lifetime. You haven't yet tried the emotional minefield technique. Well, I should. As one complains, applies sympathy for the falling turn and raises interest by 10. <laughs> uh, the amount of times that people have tried to pull this shit over in a bar. I tell ya. I'll practice it, but first, ice cream. Sylvia so tucked in her ice cream meatly. It's tasty. She borrows half her, and Rock still, still hasn't touched hers. Put your mind. Oh, just mulling over some of my recent accomplishments. As of this morning, I submitted all the paperwork and fees required to my business license. All it remains is to schedule my exam. This is pretty tough. Which I say, bring it on. If I feared a challenge, I never would have ended up here. Oh, I made projects. Field license represents the start of a whole new chapter for you. And a moment too soon. The previous chapter is getting tense. I was looked after the world by a promise of glamour and luxury. I've been hustling since I got here. Nothing more than a step or two ahead of a disaster. That dire, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah. See, shortly after coming here, I fell prey to the biggest con of all. Reddit. I was in debt. Deep, dangerous, demoralizing debt. I realized that I always would be. As long as I continue to play by the rules of rich men. Oh, I had no idea. Yes, Johnny, I prefer it that way. I suppose you deserve another person who's living downstairs for you. Warts and all. Yeah, warts are purely metaphorical. I want to be very clear about that. Anyways, I'm gonna end up running con streets of Rafta. Might be by comparison. Easy to lose sight of that. I got in my hair that's been both a windfall and albatross. I suppose we both learned that if something seems to be true, it probably is. All well, basis for our friendship, I just think. I, mean, I am glad I never tore you to pieces. More for ice cream is altogether more pleasant than pickling crystal out of my claws. Yeah, I'm gonna help that. I can't put down a thing. I won't touch your ice cream. Now it's all melted. Oh, good, that's how I prefer it, you see. Ice cream headaches are my greatest vulnerability. Oh. Must be your friends if you tell me weaknesses. Weakness? Singular. You're welcome to look for more than one, but I don't like your odds, dear. Oh god, my entire night's just gonna be talking to her, isn't it? 
and no one else is back. It's gonna be all day with this shit. I was hoping you'd swing down here. I've been here the entire time. Say, your lips look extra glossy today. Oh, I just touched that makeup a minute ago. It pays to put the effort to look your best. It provides a surge of self confidence. If this opener apply increases for. I can offer it for two turns. If opener apply for two turns instead, I can make an effort. But don't tell me you, you need more confidence. Generally, no, although I've been doing some soul searching of late. Terrible inconvenient stuff, soul searching. I'll start when I run into someone on the street. An old friend? An old Mark. A man I've leased for quite a bit of gold over the last few months. Follow me through the crowd. The approach. I wish I intended to cause a scene. Perhaps it's demand his money back. Daddy tried to give me money. Maybe he missed my potions. How many godly sum goodly sum for fresh dose of my anti baldness elixir? Yeah, that's definitely not a potion that exists. I know that, and you know that. He never figured it out. First thought was easy money, right? Something happened. The stood there looking at the man's trusting eyes and swiftly seeing hairline. I imagine our roles are reversed. I felt empathy. You told him the truth. Oh heavens no! I told him I was like for a charity worker, home for plucky covered covered orphans. I'm here to see you cheat. But I didn't take his money. Perhaps that's too free influence. So I just wanted to tell you. That is, I thought you should know. Yes? Now, for Dixus Moral Code, I'd have extra money to pay your rent. Dang. It's too late to go back and fleece a guy. Opportunity, like the man's bangs, is lost forever. Damn! Now, let's get out of here for a spell. I'm gonna move her to change the scenery. I think she's ranked 7 now. Was she ranked 4 before? It's a strange place. The forest is so open. No one to hear a scream. Keep your eyes peeled for monsters. I'll protect you. I assure you. If there's something in the in the Christ. in the vicinity, fiercer than I. I'm way more fiercer than you'll ever be, woman. Except you, perhaps. See, you get it. You've already gotten to bury me once. I mean, in a competition, that doesn't exactly make me fierce. Yes, it does. Doesn't it? Of course it does. When I first saw you, I sized you up immediately. I begged you for a spoiler. Oh god. My eyes are fucking up. A spoiler girl would never even have to fight or scrape or anything in her life. I'm certain you'd be easy prey. I'm to admit I was wrong. Wrong on all counts. You're a fighter, Sylvia. Every bit of the fighter I am. I'm not acknowledging that. You're right. I'm tough as nails, twice as sharp. There, see? You don't even need to compliment. Get on wave, <clears throat> pat yourself in the back. The point is this. You common ground, and a lot of it. I thought that made us enemies. Then I thought it made us allies. But we're more than just allies, aren't we? We're friends. True friends. It's a small thing, not to me. Sylvia, your kindness and support. Your belief in me. You're the best friend I've ever had. Ever. Son, that's... that's so nice. I'm bracing myself, waiting for a zinger about my hair. I gave you a hard time, I know. I'll try to get easier on you. Using a talent to express affection. I have a great deal of affection for you, Sylvia. I must care for you a great deal if I'm overlooked so many shortcomings. There it is. I just because I care, and because it's easier than saying thank you. But, thank you, Sylvia. Without you, I didn't know where I'd be. Maybe in the end, I would have been fine on my own, but maybe not. My life is certainly better for having you in it. Alright, let's all sing Kubiya. Alright, fuck off, girl. I. You sing Kubiya and play, play 20 Hail Marys. I'm out. Peace. I've got money to make. And I've got things to expand. Oh, dear God, do I have things to expand. Eat all these things. Alright. Um, what do I want from her? 
Well, the Wendigo antlers. Also, these all just. Uh, do you want the. Yeah, I'll we'll grab these. We need to save money, but we have one more day. Of course, you know already know what we're buying here. Living this task. I don't just feel like I'll need those dragon pheromones. Boots gelatin. Uh, let's get a few drag uh, dragon fire pearls for now. Let's buy some. Uh, we don't need to buy fuel for the pyre. Purchasing, I think. Tell them I found a gold dollar, but that's fine. Hmm? I'm buying some acid pit. I don't know, it seems like it'd be useful. Scarab shells. Remember. I think I'm done with that for now. There's literally no reason to give you a gift. Oh, forgive me, but I'm not giving you a gift. You'll never get another gift from me ever again. Get on my face. Why is that even still an option after you have max kindness? Oh, don't worry. I'll have plenty of time to talk to you. Back home. Come on, Nubia, where are you? You've been literally absent this entire time. What are you doing up so early? Market research. Big, but uncharacteristically brief. That works for me. Stick around, Sylvia. You might learn something. Ah, here we go. Good tidings. You're not a fucking nightmare. Thanks, Nubia. What are you? Are you feeling alright? Potion has. The potion has arrived within the. Pro oh, within the promised time frame. I, what? What's happening right now? Thank you for your business. Wait a minute. Also, did you order a potion with the competition? Like I said. Market research. I wanted to learn a few things. Which is how speedy Nubia service is. Get a drone now, won't you? I will not. 
Hmm, what happens if we don't pay? We have a business. We have an unpaid balance. We haven't found any biggest weakness if the entire force is this mindless. We have an unpaid Dust drone. I'm talking about how foolish your mistress is. Beyond a sudden nozzle, if nothing else. Somebody's perfect for practicing my festival trash talk. Ooh, I'm Nibia. I think I'm so great. If I'm really a big bear, I lose a festival and go cry like a stupid baby. You. Toad, how do you speak of me thus? Wait a minute, a Nubia? That's like a mindless drone. That's a drone and a husk. When I can inhabit at will. What's a useful talent? My hear eyes and ears are everywhere. That means spying on people. Well, let's these things in our homes. They have no idea you can listen to whatever you like. I say when you hear it, we're all interesting. Do you fully think trading potions for coins is the path to success? Only valuable commodity in this world is data. Flying potions is meeting an end. It's been in our homes, into our heads. That's all I know there is to learn about the people of Rafta. They'll be my subjects in every way that matters. You're a megalomaniac. I'll stay quiet about this. What do you ever like? See what good it does. A prediction? People give a little privacy of a little convenience. Offer a great deal of convenience. Thank you for your business. First is being patented. Don't forget to rate your experience. My experience, right? Unsettling would not recommend. Zero, one out of ten. She she did the silent hill to me. I mean, did you hear all that? She's a little creep. A monster. She's wrong about people, isn't she? I hope so, Sylvia. Those will learn soon enough. Amazon would like to know your location. Of you and your entire family. Ha! Jokes on you already sent someone. Competition's fast chosen. Are you on track? Stop talking to me, invisible, invisible guy, invisible little thing. Alright, I need two speed bumps. I know I don't need to make this perfect, but hey, a profit's a profit.
four matchwork speed potions. Takes 18 fucking turns to brew. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. How long to bring that down to six? That will do. Nice job. There. there we go. That's all I was shooting for. I was almost trying to perfect it, but I know I could make it perfect here. To make this last one, we're gonna have to pick up our uh, potions from here. From our gardening, that is. I think it is time for another mass harvest of our delicious, delicious Nautilus shells. We actually don't need as many as before. Point, we're just dumping things we don't need. Um, get rid, let's get rid of these, honestly. Like, they don't lead to usefulness.
I just want to get that to 10, honestly. God, don't make me waste more, please. Where did Bramble Rose? Give it to some you hate. Will do. And the new one is setting me. Alright, we're done. Alright, now one more potion to brew. I'm she did someone. All right, let's take a look at our decks. We're fine. We're still at one. I feel like I'm probably. If anyone actually comes and watches this, I feel like I'm pissing someone off by not talking to Saffron. But I just have no interest in her cards. All right, choose rank seven. I really hope you level up. Mint means speed potion. Forsack. It's fine. Okay. Alright, first off, salt and pepper. new one. There we go. Always have time for a blood brother. No, I'm sure that's some kind of secret handshake. Though you don't have a tail, so I'm sorry to limit what we could do. Don't feel bad, Sylvia. I knew Perry once who lost his tail in battle. He got done just fine. Until he lost his balance and fell overboard. Thanks, Pepper. I'll be extra careful. Potions, you said I'd look at shit. You ready to do this? Masks, just get over with before I lose my nerve. Oh, wouldn't worry about that. You, Sylvia, have a lot of nerve. That does a compliment. I should have came out sounding that way. Salt and Pepper creep to the very edge of the dock. Sylvia follows, peering the glistening ore. Anything looks beneath the surface remains out of sight. You are. So this is a land number get to the great god of the sea. Okay, Katuna, we got offerings, large one. Alt? Well done. I'm gonna finish this many times over, Sylvia. I know myself doubts about this. It's a little hard to wrap, wrap my head around. I mean, work so hard on these potions. Give me some real gold. Are you really working for the gold, though? Or what the gold represents? Money is precious, but only because people decided that it would be. It has no intrinsic value. You can't eat it. You can't love it. Not really. Much in this world that does have intrinsic value. Real, true worth. Jewelry. No salt. You know what I mean. I mean friendship. Dry spot and sun to your head, a beating heart and working lungs. Money can help with some of that, but only so much. This is a way of showing the world what we really care about. Here. In the line of sand, we say, Do not desire wealth for the sake of wealth. It's our family, health, laughter, and love. We ask humbly to receive all the wonders we cannot buy. These are blessings Gaku Katuna may bring us, if he deems us worthy. I don't know about that. I just like Bowser's in the water because it keeps hurricanes away. Everyone knows that. It's science! 
Alright, I'm convinced. Not about the hurricane thing, obviously. I mean, the other stuff. Severe holds her potions in her hands. Her good potions, and she's getting good at selling them. I took a conscience of the difference between paying off her debt or losing everything. But it's too late to back up now. I think Pepper's word ring true. Perhaps a small act to find the social universe what really matters to her. Hey, nice throw, Sylvia. Get a gargle and arc on that and splash. Tuna will be pleased. Yeah, you will. Got a feeling. You've got good stuff coming your way, Sylvia. Sorry now. In fact, talked over Pepper and well. Jeez, I have to say something stupid. Pepper, help me out. Sylvia, would you like to pet us? We would like that. Oh, poor what I come here, you crazy cats. Uh, what's the timing on this? 518. One second. It's very important, trust me. Oh, my pens. I actually got rid of all that. That's fine. I can make it. Give me a second. Five. Eighteen. Alright, raise interest by 7 for every card played prior to this one on current turn. Close sale. <sighs> That's actually nuts. Every card played prior to this one on current turn. That literally would... Oh, that is such a good card. We have reached the max relationship with salt and pepper. Welcome, Blood Brother. And have a good one, little guys. I can't talk to you, but I can still. Not too bad. I wanted to infiltrate. It's fine. Give me your stuff. I just thought to brighten my day by giving me literally the most precious item in the entire world. Also, so yeah, which I want to check you out and hope you maybe gotten some of the bigger pieces of mine I've been looking for. Here are the spoils. Not quite what I was looking for. I'll be straight with you here. I won't do that. Right, until we meet again. Cosmos, but I have some goods here. At least you tried. Thanks for the wood. Definitely not something anyone ever. I will give to you. I actually think you're on eight, right? Fuck you, pal. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely on eight. Let's do this, Corsac. You got my attention. Damn right I do. What I say, Sylvia, you continue to impress. Well, it's just... such a limit most days. I'm not doing half as much as you, you are. You're about as marble as a slime. Oof. You're doing so well, too. I'm kind of assuming you meant that as a compliment. Else would I mean it? The slime's like in backbone. Bones ain't kind, I guess. They make up for the brilliant and beautiful minds. Is 
That is a fucking insane card. Bad it doesn't quite work for my deck. Sure, why not? Why do you feel so so thin today? Much ado, not enough time. Barely back from one expedition, I've got another one coming up. First I gotta clean my canteen, sterilize some drinking water, put together some gel mix, or me the birds. Oh, and I gotta make fresh soap. That's one more for you than it is for me. Thoughtful. There's more though, Baptiste. Decided to host a social hour. Together where heroes get to know each other a little better. It's perfect opportunity to make some friends. I hope so. As you may have noticed, I can rub people the wrong way sometimes. Not bunny so. I know how just to rub a bunny. That's in the right place. You'll do fine. Probably. In the meantime, why don't we take some of that other stuff off your plate? Got money now. Might as well spend it and spare yourself some stress. In the market place in a while. We got ice cream. Let's head the way now and see what we can find. People out today. Mine's the way armadillos will crowd around an oasis. And it usually ends in blood. Or a mating free for all. Uh, you find any riding rodents here? <laughs> Pretty much anything else you can think of. I don't know, Sophie. If you look closely enough, you'll probably find a few. I should admit your DIY attitude. Your time is too precious, DIY. DIY. All why? I think I understand you. My tracking skills are useless here. In the right direction. You can like disposable candy. Long as you with filtered water, so you'll save time on dishes and water purification. Then toss that candy away. I don't like the. Okay, I thought maybe I was thinking. All right, so that's it. So let's see what else we can find. It's like just the throngs. You manage to avoid bumping at anyone despite having eyes on toys. I thought maybe they're like, when disposable, I mean like, degradable. Guess not. First, they seem genuinely intrigued by Amazon display. It's even a ghillie suit for sale. Inspection, ghillie suits are entirely synthetic material. Their houses are small and made of plastic. Journalists are flimsy and unsuitable for outdoor conditions. Given how respect to customers to my sustainable potions, I assume local businesses be more ecologically responsible. Sorry. Raptians recognize how precious the environment is, but they care. It seems being sent thrift eclipses all of the concerns. All that bad, I mean, you get ice cream? Yeah, it's the one flavor, though. They try some of the point. As much of an outlier here as I ever was. I don't have much hope these social mix will be the thing to change that. You belong here as much as anyone does, Corsac. Don't give up on finding your pack. Maybe we're a pack of two. Maybe that's plenty. No, though, I gotta get ready for that expedition. Don't worry, I'll come back after it's done. Even though there's part of me that just wants to keep on going. Kozak feels like an outcast. He's often creates more human connections. Can I help him make the most of an upcoming party? Yes! Yes, I can! Ah, oh, shit, did I sell the tolerance for- No, no, I kept them just in case, right? Fuck, did I get rid of the tolerance for- I, I did not, I did not, okay. And I should have a notification bug? Yep. Yep, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, on to Zed. Wow, actually, that's a lot of wood. That's actually a lot of wood. Good job, Zid. I need more Yeti for. It's perfect. But talk to me. It's always nice to have you. And this should be the tier 8. I scream, you scream, we all scream for frozen yogurt. Uh, it's not as it should be, is it? Workshop it? Nuh uh, sounds like work. It's about anything but. So, this really is the ice cream vendor, enough to notice that something is unusual. This is a lot busier. Well, about that. But I rented the place out. Oh, really? You can do that? Say, hey, sometimes being a celebrity has its perks. 
Got to run a place for a couple hours. I only says she used that time as much frozen yogurt as humanly possible. Not ice cream. Rookie mistake, Sil. With ice cream, you pick a flavor and then sort of and sort of what it is. With yogurt, you can have a huge array of toppings. And for a lot more control over the final dessert. What about blank slate? A steady beat in which you can overlay a melody of your own making. Let's look at our option, Sil. It boggles mind. The vet gets upon the available toppings, quickly sees that Zid has a point. All well, coffee dictionaries, fruits and nuts, and candied eyeballs laid spread out before the banquet set by sugar crazy children. It's enticing and slightly overwhelming. I don't know if I need more decision points in my life. I cannot make good choices. I'm about maximizing your pleasure. I should use Stacy, but try to use denser so you can eat more of it. It depends on takes some getting used to, but won't cause your blood sugar to spike and crash like fire scotch will. Wow. Put some thought into this. Yeah, I'm a master of the scales. I mean, both musical scales and the yogurt way and variety. That's pretty so amazing. That's pre pretty amazing and so generous of you. I have an idea of doing something nice for you, pal. And, well, it might be a little premature, but I'm gonna need to celebrate. No song I've been working on? It's almost done. I'm on track to finish it tonight. There's still some rough spots starting out, and a few clumsy rhymes. But the first draft is always the hardest part. Ends is in sight. Proud. Huge gosh, mate. Well, thanks. Although I'll try not to pat myself on the back until the views are in. The hopes is the start of a new chapter. That's just the first of a whole slew of original songs. And that's what it's all about. I got music to begin with. I like exactly getting the music. Well, this sounds cheesy, but I want to make a difference. Okay, that's not the whole story. What I wanted was to be in the spotlight. Always loved being the center of attention. I also wanted to use the spotlight to take that's real change. It's amazing to me. How music has this way hearts. I wish everyone had a platform thought, thought more carefully about how to use it. Great stage present comes great responsibility, right? I got like totally swept up and raised to be on top. I let myself become a cog in a corporate hit making machine. I didn't write a single word or share a single original opinion Not for years. I like the present. I mean, that's the truth. There's been overflowing out of me lately. I still need to write the climax of song and support me to get tone right. What do you think? If you continue to endeavor trials, should it should be pretty confident? She would she'll fall short right until the very end. Confident. Why much she's confident? She's come all the way and she's learned to trust in her abilities. Oh, but this is the rousing finale. Okay, that should be the last beat input I need. Now just to iron out that rhyme scheme. That rhyme's a coupon, does it? That's the final treat I had for you today. Thank you. Coupon, soup's on. Honestly, not a songwriter. And yet, make no mistake. Could never win this one without you. Alright. No reason to send you into the throngs. Uh, who's up next? We will deliver the speed potion in the other one. Our own hat hits. I'm um, hoping the Arctic, yeah, Arctic's got off. The only place I can go is Dragon Waste, and Dragon Waste are worthless to go to. Still need to get this one, unfortunate. Not that it really matters. All it is is a shelf. I don't need a shelf. Shelf is for nerds that sell potions using a deck. I can't believe I'm actually making this game work by just selling potions out of the vending machine. It's great. Uh... Alright. There you go, Roxanne. Let's go. Our trap door is always open. I need to work off some steam, and yogurt isn't cutting me today. I've been hot yogurt with baby goats. What? Can I help somehow? You're a faithful friend, Sylvia. Just knowing you want to help is helpful in its own right. I ask you out here for a bit of therapy. Tim pulls a heavy semi from behind a bush. Wait. 
Where'd you get that? Bro, I have weapons stashed all over town. Perhaps that's a hack gun tip we can try? It's not at all relevant to hell gun. Oh, fine, here's coupon instead. Thanks. Don't, please don't kill someone. That works, thanks. No, shall we? Roxanne has brought a satchel full of junk she found at a secondhand shop. The dinner plates, glass pitchers, little ceramic animals. The guy sits them all in a row and starts just smashing them with her mallet. Smiling now, exhilarated by destruction. Then she hands over Emma Sylvia, which she hears at first. As a terracotta unicorn shares beneath her blow, she immediately understands the appeal. Fun, isn't it? Calling it Smash and Gab. Maybe it could be my next business. After all this enchanting luck falls apart. There's a protest plan B. I don't know what's gonna happen. Precisely. I always had to get out of town bag, packed and ready, things go south. What business good for you in your check to get your license? Something change? You smashed now, Gab? You insist. Things have coming up. It's a final hurdle in securing my business license. Look at a practice exam. Came back with so much red, it looks like a murder scene. I was expecting it. I thought I'd done just fine. Shame in it. That's the whole point of a practice exam. It means you have to hit the books. Oh, I tried that. Also tried biting, scratching, and kicking the books. You know what I meant. You need to study. Absurd. All this already. I'm a profitable business. I'm almost sure I have to study then for a test about how to run a business. This is a difference between practical knowledge and book smarts. Before it might be enough to do the work. If you want your license, you have to prove you have the latter too. Let me get this straight. Sometimes I shelled up my hard earned money and filled out the little forms. I'm also expected to parrot a little trivia back at them. All the inner approval to work that I'm already doing. That is quite a scam, and I would know. Yeah, that's the system we're stuck with, for better or worse. This is world definitely has its own set of rules. Just think of it like a game. Game? What if I play games that I play to win? Exactly. I do whatever it takes. I mean, spending hours memorizing trivia. I know when gauntlets would throw down. Very well, I'm going to crush the exam, Sylvia. I'll do whatever it takes. First, I'm going to find a new hiding spot for the sledgehammer. I think I'll be needing it again soon. On you! Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, we haven't talked to Saffron in this entire fucking playthrough. So we're gonna talk to Mint. That means I'm gonna make sure I gave Mint a gift. Corsac, the salt and peppers maxed out. These are maxed out. All right, we get to talk to Saffron finally. <laughs> it only took the entire game. Oh. I swear she probably really has like eight levels just lined up. Let's go. Stay as long as you like. I actually do unironically like her. Um, but I think I've done this already. I'm glad. Because, yeah, do you have some puzzle of time? Uh, a little bit. Because, yeah. I, yeah, I remember because during the first playthrough, I did her first once twice, but I decided I didn't need anything she had. Will you, will you do anything you set your mind to? I was like, I don't really need the stressors that much. Alright, Quinn. Not for my daily dose of all my drugs. Not for daily dose of your drugs. Wait, these are all new? You tell me that actually had a point? Why not all of them? Let's go ahead and wait. I don't know. Oh, 
There we go. Probably won't have to buy any of these things because I'm yeah, I'm pretty much done. these because getting purple materials is hard to come by and dragon ball ticks one will never really use them at some point especially if you keep using them with the cosmic these things you know these things Okay, we should have two people we can deliver to and finish your quests. Well, you well good for them. I think today is going to be a special day. And I think today is going to be another round of delicious, delicious mana farming. <sighs> okay, let's uh. Yeah, that'll satisfy me for now. I just realized something. I do not have that many left now. Whoops. Oh well.
menos não se faz. works. Eh, eh, that's Off to the rat races. Nope, oh, Salt and Pepper's Wharf. And this. And this is why we save people. I forgot to deliver the potions. I also forgot to sell my potions. Now we travel. Yeah, 
Anything interesting? Ooh, that's new. Orchard of the Ice Princess. Okay, actually. <gasps> Wait, is that enough yeti fur? I have to try it. Please, please. Must know. Please. Saffron. Sorry, Saffron. Please, please. Please, please let me enough yeti fur. Powdering my balls. Speaking of which, um, it was mint. Oh, it was mint and some of this. Apology and to thank you. It's gonna, I should probably throw a whole prey in your honor at this point because the speed potions is nothing. I want to put me the edge up there. The edge is handcrafted love just for you. No legendary weapons required and no things necessary. To so apology, what do you need to be sorry about? Oh, wallowing. So please not good luck for aspiring hero. Well, I can agree. I guess aspiring heroes who's accomplished as much as you have. Thanks. We've accomplished all that much yet. There you have, think about it. The quest for an artifact, you forge ahead where other heroes fear to tread. Vanquish monsters, confront to dragons, solve drills, navigate mazes, and skill mountains. I could have you did all this while saving a lot of pirates from a lot of trees. But yeah, I think you're determined to make me bust so hard my head burst into flames. Can you see down here? I don't want any more witnesses that I want to combust. Weather is pleasant down by the water, and children frolic in the surf. That's obvious to Sylvia that Mint's eyes are drawn to the Kraken Skull, seeing ominously in the shadows. If you have the Kraken Skull from here. Yeah, as trophies go, it's hard to beat. It was always comparing trophies, you know. We all want tangible proof of what we accomplished. That's the sort of my whole thing with only a legendary weapon. I want something I could point and say, see, I'm worthy. There's trying to be people that idolize it, but the imposter syndrome is real. I find your weapon. Prove yourself worthy along the way. I you know. Hearing you say that, I believe it. Will I believe it tomorrow? Believe it the next time a monster gets a drop of me, or I trigger a trap, or I oversleep. Believing yourself is hard. It takes work. Daily, active work. It's funny. These for me believe in you. What the easiest thing in the world? Sylvia, I don't know what to do to deserve a friend like you. Honestly, you're just the best. I can't promise all my doubts will need to rest, but first I'll try not to be so hard on myself. I'm chasing validation. I'm gonna celebrate the things I know I do well. Hugging, for instance. I'm telling you, Sylvia, I give the best hugs in all the guild. Hugging? Really? The skill, Sylvia. A skill I've honed over the years to near perfection. Wait, people get hugs? Huh, <laughs> guess you should be judged of that though, right? We're getting in, bud. You're worthy of this. So am I. What? Negate all st stress from all sources for two turns. There's max relationship level with mint. Good on you. However, I don't want you to get a dragon play, so, uh. Kick back a bit. Uh, I believe. Is it Corsac? It was Corsac. Right, Corsac wanted something to help him with the. Uh, that. Right. Not ready yet. Uh, I'm just thinking of all what I have to do for the keep up. Zill still needs a gift, which I can easily just buy. Uh. That's fine. I literally only have Corsax done once again enough for reputation. I need Dill, Roxanne, and Sephiron. Everyone else is maxed. Well, let's talk to Quinn then. So we can get a gift for uh, Zill.
Let's go on shopping early. Ooh. What is for cheap today? Ooh, ooh, what we got? Promise I'm not very. Buy that for selling. You know I'm buying all that good shit. And now I'll pass on that. Ooh, but some answers to bag and some mall for cheap. Earth. You can all do. Almost done here. Have to hold out a little bit longer and buy these. Oh yeah, we're buying the hell out of these. You have to ask. So we're gonna buy the recommended amount of ticks. Well, I should probably calm down the spending a little bit. We're trying to save money for the next set. I mean, everything's so cheap right now. You never know when I'll need it. Probably. Like these barracuda plants. I think we'll stay around. 30,000 be fine, especially with how much money we'll have rolling in tomorrow. Travel to. I believe it was Zed. Wanted to travel to. Gift. Some pleasantry. No rank up. Uh, I'm running out gifts to give people. I actually might have to look at the guide now because I actually ran out of things. It's a lot cleaner now, too. Oh, minerals and gems. Here we go, Saffron. Today's your day. I have no one else to talk to until I have more fucking businesses. Uh. And you want plants. Oh, 
but we can just give you the spark of mana. Okay, I think I've done the next rank up, and then anything after that I haven't done. Closing gives me full attention. What are you working on? Yeah, a moment for the wind tongs. My head is good. Everything is Resilience. Casual conversation. A witch. I suppose I'll use tongues in person. I don't know what way around. She is away our town. Warming. Want to head back? So, so that's kind, but no, my curiosity is peaked. Where are you originally sat from? Uh, like a long chain of game works. Exploring. That was years ago. Have a break. I'm not gonna do an air for a but how many here with me has made such a yeah. I also buy more fuel on here. Oh, I should probably check. Um, I know I can. Before I rank up, let me check to make sure I actually have it in my inventory. So it was this potion actually I need to go back yeah I do actually I'll talk to you in a second now yeah, let's just let's just talk to her and uh my best yours oh uh, what she does do here? What's the offer of tea? An opportunity to spend some quality time in your abode. It's sort of a mess. Hey, I live outdoors, remember? It takes more a bit of clutter to scare me off. So, now I'm gonna take a closer look. It doesn't appear entirely sound, structurally speaking. I'm okay for a little while, though, so it's not an earthquake or stiff breeze. Progress, but it's coming along. Doesn't even smell like all drops anymore. Well, that or just got to use the smell of all droppings. So that's a bad smell. Before I made this hat, it's my day I didn't get some kind of poop in my hair. That's the shop. I want the park just go. It's an impressive one. I top with it if I can. I'll take that leaky roof for you. You don't have to do that. I don't have to, but I'd like to. I'd be rude to deny a guest, don't you think? Now, hold my tea. So it looks on, so I find the exit via a window scales the top to the poison confidence of a mountain goat. It quickly finds the source of a roof small but persistent goat. Using simple tools on a person and a minor goat can trip or two, that restores the roof to prime condition. All done. Just a patch job. This should hold for, oh, maybe a decade or two. Fucking, only a decade or two? Fucking patch job, druid motherfuckers. Seriously impressive, Samparan. How do you keep me so good at this stuff? Yeah, it's all necessity. When I was younger, I spent a good time out on a sailing vessel. If things would break, they'd need fixing. Loki was the alpha of our little group. The strongest, he acted like the role of a handy person was his by right. Not birthright? His whole thumb, he often forgot his own strength. He'd break two things while fixing one. I learned it by watching him, though. When he showed him that a bit of finesse could do, he stepped aside and let the repair, let the repair work to me. I found shit with an exciting. I love having freedom to travel, to see the world. He's usually my favorite thing about being a hero. Wait, you were a hero? Then know what? I don't think I knew that. Well, now you do. Does it change your opinion of me? It's kinda hot. Uh, no, no, it's just you haven't talked much about your past. That isn't purposeful. I don't give yourself a secret person. I'm not actually hiding anything. I'm still being more interested in what's in front of me than what's behind. There must be a story there, though. Not really. Being here just didn't suit me. I'm much happier, you know, having left all that in the past. I still help people in my own way. In fact, it's a flashy, but... I've got a coupon here, just for you. 
Thanks. Should have waited to buy that fuel. While you're here on my book, happy to do it. Now, how about throwing a fresh pot? There's no an even shelf in a warped baseboard, and you know me. It's ten piling with our improvements to be made. I'll be able to upgrade the carpentry after day 39. Let's talk again. I'm gonna turn your mind. Okay, this, this needs to be the last one. It's so peaceful here. I thought just snuck around instead of going back to the shop. You're welcome to. The man I have to put you to work. Are you at wood joinery? Have you mastered the half bind to dovetail? Moise and tenon? are you talking about? I'm not exactly a woodworker myself, but I'm pretty sure these don't exist. And wood joinery, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's talking about like being able to stick pieces of wood together, usually via nail stuff. Was, I'm not sure what wood joinery is, a pick a particularly talent like. I'm teasing. Welcome to just relax here. I'm trying to make my friends feel welcome. And my customers too. Supporters establish a meaningful and deep connection. They don't feel rushed out the door. Increases patience by four can only be played if you have no other cards in your hand. Well, that's insane. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure's mine. And well, you're really welcome to hang around here. I know I should see more of the sights. And no tripping down the same without the companionship of my favorite tour guide. Uh, it's not so crowded down here, and the breeze is pleasant. Why people like the beach, even if it looks a bit naked without any of my trees. Safer than the forest. No, there's no one for monsters to hide. Don't call, think about civilizations that monsters can hide in plain sight. I I'm sorry, that was negative of me. Yes, honest, I think looming skull over there has unnerved me. Everyone can't seem to pull our eyes away from the massive kraken skull sitting in the shadows. Pure sight to be sure, but Saffron's confession isn't one of curiosity. God, they just left that thing there. I'm thinking someone will remove it. It's been 20 years since a band of heroes landed on the beach, and done hunting down the island's wicked queen. 20 years ago, those heroes slayed the queen's pet kraken. Great cost themselves to the town. Many lives were lost that day. Kraken's corpse was left to rot. Now, the island populated once more, the locals are treating Skull like some sort of monument. What's the thinking behind that, do you think? And... What do my eyes are falling? Heroes and civilians both. We pledge to never forget them, but just as they've been in vain. You have a good heart, Sylvia. I see your good intentions at play here. I am seeing the skull as a morbid choice of memorial. I tried very hard to put that memory of that dark day behind me. Wait, you mean... That front, were you there that day? I was. Please tell me more. We were there. What was it like? I'd rather not get into it. In fact, I think I'd better head home. I I'm sorry, Silva. I didn't mean to drag. I've done nothing wrong, but I know when I'm bound for company. I prefer to spare you that. You enjoy the beach, and I'll see you another day, okay? Okay, change my mind. You're getting hard fucking pressed. Not today. I need to travel back home because I fucked up. One piece of serve, love and serve the Lord. And since it was basically because we fucked up, take right, that, take that, take that. This is the one that we need. We need the insight potion enhancer. All right. And day. All right, last. Perhaps I'll pick up a book. Reading, peasant. Reading's whore. Much reading time, as well. Better keep your talents at the ready. That's right. I'll have you know. I'm recording it to exchange. What do moralize the more any fears and doubts overwhelm you? Now, contemplate my suit. Priority and despair. Go on. I'll wait. 
Only thing I'm contemplating is how badly you're going to cr You crying out of river of tears when I beat you. Focus on you. All your immortalizing in me is making me this promise. I'm going to beat you tomorrow. I want you to make a sweat. Now why don't you get out of here and mind your own business? Oh, I'll show you. My business is at the forefront of my mind. Your business is very good. Here's a sheep wrapped raptor. Let's go start my benevolent surveillance and you guessed. I don't know what they say about you behind those doors. Now, if you could tell me that I haven't already read it in the Nominous Review. Well, here's something you might have figured out. If they're standing my way tomorrow, to be as dust beneath my heel. Not uh, begging now, Nuba. Didn't tell Shark Man intimidate me. What does a little girl have? Curse you, I am not the little girl! Surely my regal bearing he charged us and made me more than a parent. I'm more a thousand years old! I shall live for a thousand more. Oh well, yeah, but your cheeks are just so pinchable. Pinchable? Pinch me on peril, you toothless jackal. I hate you. Crush you. You'll see. Peace, bitch. You didn't really just brag about regal bearing and then have a hissy fit. I got attention to all those keen stratagems you mentioned. Oh, she is so fucked. The amount of fucking that's about to happen. And don't worry, it's fine. She's a thousand years old. She's not a child. She's a thousand year old. A thousand year old. Fine. All right. <sighs> like sand through an hourglass, another ten day period has come and gone. There's no time to wax nostalgic for begone days. Now where's the tenure to be had? I'm Baptiste, here once more to guide you through the twists and turns of the day's turn. In the field, two legends of craftsmanship and com commercialism are saying they compete for all the many glories they deserve. Let's give them a proper greeting, shall we? Hailing from a mighty overseas empire, our first contested small statue relies her imposing presence. What's the secret of her success? She says it's divine right and moral superiority, dummy. But she knows the secret of her love for the dark arts of capitalism. Darkest art of all. Give up for Anubia. That's it. Clap. I know if you don't. Anubia's against our reigning champ, whose chthonic tonics have already become a rafting institution. They, she literally, literally, her healing potions have saved probably a thousand lives at this point. She works hard, she fights fair, I'm pretty sure she talks to animals. She is Sylvia. Hey, Nubia. A brat. Your sense of time it won't help you here. Shut up! I am not! The contestants are chanting and emulably done there. Must be at least a little starstruck to be in presence of a celebrity judge. If Robin didn't have the hots for me, I might disagree. I might agree with you. He's a busy man, but he's made time to share his expertise and his winning smile. Oh, I'm smiling. We're so close to the end. Work at the end. We gotta get started. Are our contestants ready to begin? Again, 45 steps ahead. I'll give these suckers a show. Let's hope they like a tragic ending. Oh, oh, the end is gonna be tragic, all right. Sound ready to me? Here we go. What you got, girl? Oh, she'll break a curse of silence. And surely, my foes break against my dread magnificence. That's a tall order. Also, not sudden hints of candied frog. They call whiff something. I'll leave this at twelve hundred. Wow, assessment. Welcome back. See what you got. Where, where are my masterwork science cures? It speaks for itself. Ah, that was a pun. I think it counts as being a science cure. Question your sense of humor, but the potion itself is very nice. Here is pure quality to Nubia's. Sylvia, at this point, is easily yours. You're taking candy from a brat. I was crushed with silence. Ugh! Put your fucking uh, uh, Sobek tongue back. I didn't know exactly as my oracle algorithm foretold it. But I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm in control. No, you're not. I'm gonna eat your flipping face, you worm. That's the face of a fighter. It's still anyone's match. No, it's not. It's already over. Here, I ask what you have for next. Look at my masterpiece. A tolerance potion, aged for no less than 300 years. Fascinating. What did you find about it last so long? Oh, I didn't 
anything so mundane's barrel. No, this picture age was in the hollowed out skull of the last potion maker that challenged me. That's really my vintage, which urged you evaluation of 1440. That's all I ask you, Lip. Can you beat it? It's a little bit high, but I can. Get the fuck out of my stadium. The person who tells the potion is, even this is not enough to make a newbie tolerable. Good zinger. Let's see if the potion itself measures up. The masterwork quality. I'm thoroughly convinced. No need to sell me on this further. You've done it, Sylvia. Move on to grand finale. <sighs> no contest. Rage. Rage. Hey, oh, God. Please don't rip off your face. Fair, I should have won. Well, I never got the price for worse sportsmanship. It's ridiculous for ever to reject my gifts. So be it. I have an empire to run. It's been enough for so to try and establish a foothold upon the mud. I'll go. But you know, it shall be my consolation. I know what you're up against next, and you have no idea, Isilia. No idea. Ominous? Well, that's an ominous. Yeah. Worry about later. I deserve like half a day to revel in victory before I'm back to contemplating impending doom. See, Anubia couldn't get out of town fast enough. I mind you, gentlemen, so all I'll say is good riddance. Because you hate their stupid face, right? Come on, say it. Feels good. Yes, I hate their stupid face very much. I hope all this taught you a lesson about going on the offensive and staying on the offensive. When you're roll, give them everything and the kitchen sink. Draw a card every time you play a card? Oh, but it costs three. Ooh, that's a really good card, though. That's three. What's happened with my own Olish insight? Hello. Oh, look at you, Sylvia. How far you've come. It's disappointing for you. I mean, I know you've taken the money, but I'm sure you'd rather soul shackle me to a desk. Nothing could be further from the truth. Running for you, young woman. I find that hard to believe. Nonetheless, it is true. The situation has two possible outcomes. Bank I serve Bank I serve benefits either way. I'm much proud come where both sides profit. And accept your payment now. Don't spend it all in one place. Thank you, Sylvia. And please don't take it personally. The service I provide is a necessary one, dictated by market. If I didn't do it, someone else would. Where else you think of me, know that I'm hoping to see you succeed. <sighs> what do you think? Should you have a point? If you're on the same side. You might both hope for the same outcome. But that doesn't mean you're on the same side. Because I need their services. Our bank's money. Get the shop up and running. But it's a proprietary system. I make no mistake. In the world, we have to look out for our own interests. Because no one else will. This game... Is so fucking easy. So I'm guessing the last push I need to make is master work quality ones. I'm gonna have to upsell that. Just to them one more comparative packing. Robin, good morning, Sylvia. I was quite a show yesterday. Too close for comfort? <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. I wasn't too worried. So you've grown confidence, just you've grown ability. Reminded me of self, you know. Many, many years ago. Well, you're not much older than me, right? I don't really start, but you've only been working at this potion market for a few years. You know, it feels a great deal longer. Yep. Say, I don't suppose you're here to give me a scoop of the next competitor. I'm ready to crush him. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't you know? It's me, Sylvia. You're up against me next. Uh, what? I didn't really- No one told me! It was Baptiste's idea, naturally. He got a flair for dramatic, and that's who rejected going up against the best. What's the point of the show? Brigades will drum up interest in local businesses and inject some money into the economy. But we don't have to jump through hoops for Baptiste. In fact, I'm here with a proposal. Why is he even kind of chasing you simply, well... Forfeit. Go 
take your ten ass looking ten ass looking ass out of my fucking building. Forfeit? Why would I do that? Hit me up now. No, you needed money. There's no shame in that. Why don't you take the cash prize? I'll keep the fancy degree and semi on a silver reputation. And let's get the whole circus. Uh, just like that. Just like that. He knows something. Can't be f but no, I'm sorry, I need that ingredient. Let's keep as I have from Maven Bloom. Uh, sort of a long story, but ah! the actual hell. Oh, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> Do know something? I understand now. I see exactly what's going on. Someone's been messing with my powers beyond their control. Up to do the seas wave. I see we both have skin in this game. So be that lizard's more than just a lizard. I've waited this long after all. I'll wait one more week to get what I want. I sure took a turn. Ooh. Don't think you'll tell anyone, do you? About me? Doesn't matter. Another week, Lynn's getting your money and you're getting your cure. Who cares if people learn your bird in the meantime? Well, it doesn't do much for my sex appeal. Check it out, Boswell. I'm worried about how intense Robin got all of a sudden. Even the lizard looked menacing for a minute. People tend to show the true cause when this much money is involved. Oh, because I put the money, though, did he? Give me mean, an opportunity to give the cash to me without any hassle. Be debt free right now. I. Uh, I appreciate you sticking out for me. Really, you should probably success. Feeling Beam, though. I just had Saffron over here. What was she doing? Been a little busy. So have I, actually. I have something that help you cross the finish line. I have just have to make any potion you'd like, use the ingredients from any region of the island. Well, alright. I finally got my full license. In time for the final push. I also achieved the details of the final competition. Take a look. I guess you already know who your competitor is. Potions out to brew are no joke either. Yep. Masterwork. I already have a masterwork. And I don't recognize it. It's top of me. But look, there it is. The Maven Blue Flower. We're so close. Good as ours, and yours gets cured. With confidence. We're up against a living legend. Oh. <sighs> what the fuck is going on in my chat? Uh, how do I ban someone from here? the fuck's going on. Whatever. And then, let's look how our owl is before the hatch. Why would you just say chickens? You know actual idioms. You're not a real owl. Funny. But I think that's enough for now. So. Bellarman. Setting off. Have a good one.